Okay, hurry up please, you two. Dad. Good girl. Okay, things in the dishwasher, please. We're going to work with Dad for the first time today because Mummy is away at Granny Molly's. Dad is the boss that helps the drivers' minibuses. Dad? Yeah? Will we ride around in your minibus today? No, Tim. The minibuses have got journeys to make and passengers to collect all day. We can't go with them. Then what are we going to do at your office, Dad? Well, I'm going to show you two off to everyone. Oh, Dad! Oh, Dad! <laughs> and you're going to bring a toy each to play with while I do my work, remember? Oh, yes! Oh, yes. Good. Are you ready, twins? Oh. Time to go! Coming, Dad! Dad, I'm going to bring my rubbish truck to show you how from drivers. What are you bringing, Topsy? I'm bringing a little moon bunny. Found you. We're going to Dad's office today, Topsy. so be good. Coming. When we get to Dad's office, we see the helpful driver's sign and three minibuses. Here we are, twins. Helpful drivers. <laughs> right, team. I need your best behaviour this morning, yes? OK, Dad. Thank you. I'll get my work done as soon as I can, then we can go home for lunch and be silly and noisy, OK? Yes. Hi, yes, Tim. Yeah! <laughs> High five, Dad. OK. <laughs> Good morning, Suzanne. Good morning, Brian. Oh, you must be Topsy and Tim. Yeah. Yes, we are. I'm Suzanne, one of your dad's drivers. Hello, Suzanne. Hi. What's that? Ah, oh, well, this helps people to get into the minibus. Would you like to have a try? Yes, please. Oh, yeah. OK, oh, right, stand nice. back. There we go. Right, wait till it's all the way down. There you go. Ah. That's it, hold on. Very good. Ready? Pop that down. Yeah. Good boy. That's it. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Looks like I've got two extra passengers today. <laughs> Do you want to come on my next journey with me, Topsy and Tim? Yes, please. Yes, please. Come with Dad. Oh, I'm afraid not. Come on, you two. It's time to meet everyone inside the office and let Suzanne do her job. OK! <laughs> there are lots of rooms in Dad's office with lots of people working in them. This one! This one! This one! Oh, could it be? Hello, Topsy. Hello, Tim. Ah, oh, this is Carol. Hello, Carol. <laughs> How does everyone know our names, Dad? Because they've heard a lot about you from me. Come on, Tim. Come here. <laughs> oh, is this where you work, Dad? Yeah, this is my office. Is Mind this you. your chair, Dad? Which one? That, this one. No, this one. <laughs> wow! Cool. Look, Dad, I'm a busy <laughs> worker like you are. Ah. Hello, someone's calling. I just need to put you on hold. <laughs> Look, it's a picture of us, Topsy. I love this picture of Mummy too. And does again. My turn in the spinny chair now. OK. Hi, Topsy and Tim. I'm Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Hello, Kevin. Why is everyone wearing photographs? Oh, that's just my photo badge. It shows I work here at Helpful Drivers. Kevin is my assistant, and I happen to know he's got a job for you. Who'd like to help him? Me, me, me! <laughs> OK, off you go. Come on, Kevin. Spin me, Dad. Spin. OK, ready? One, two... I'm going to have a quick three. spin in your chair. Here we are. Wow! <laughs> Kevin is photocopying a newsletter for Dad. And he wants me to help. And if you want to pop that just in the corner for me, please. Lovely. And then we'll pull this down. So slowly pull that down. Careful, mm. that's it. And we'll do ten copies of this one, so ten, 
10. And then green. That one. Perfect. Hopefully we'll get 10 copies. I make lots of copies for Kevin. And then I have a drink. Topsy! Topsy! Come and see this! Coming! Look, I'm helping Carol. I'm collecting all her pencil shavings and putting them in my rubbish collecting truck. I want to do that. Oh, you can help. There's still more photocopying to do, Topsy. Kevin. Thanks, Tim. It's this way. Down the hall. Helpful drivers, speaking. Yup. Uh, I can check you now. Okay, yeah. Yep. Shopping. Tim, I'm sharpening pencils for Dad now. Oopsie. Yep. Yep, okay. Read that out to me. Yep. Yeah, it's gone. Okay. Thanks, Mr Spencer. We'll be in touch soon. <laughs> OK, bye-bye. I love being in your office, Dad. <laughs> Do you want to answer the phone this time, Topsy? Yes, please. <laughs> OK. Just say, helpful drivers and your name. Helpful drivers is Topsy O'Dell. <laughs> yes, I It's think. Suzanne, the minibus driver on the phone. Oh, hello, Suzanne. She tells me that a friend of mine is on yes. her minibus. She's driving her back now. We all go outside to see which friend of mine is on Suzanne's minibus. Look who I found on my minibus, Topsy. Your friend. Little Moon Bunny! Oh, Little Moon Bunny, I've been so busy, I've forgotten all about you. And you've been on the minibus all morning. Thank you. Good That's girl. OK. Little Moon Bunny enjoyed her ride today. <laughs> and Topsy and Tim have been a real help in the office. In fact, I think they deserve these. Wow! Your very own photo badges. Wow, thanks, Dad. And you? Thanks. Good luck. <laughs> you. <laughs> You made Little Moon Bunny a badge. Very good. Yeah. Oh, Mummy's going to be so proud of you when she hears all about your hard work today. Please come and bring her and tell her, Dad. Well... And that's when Dad says... Please. You can, you can tell, tell Mummy yourselves, yourselves tomorrow. You can tell Mummy yourselves tomorrow, Topsy and Tim, when we pick her up from the train station. Yay! But first... Let's have some of Dad's special spaghetti for lunch. After a hard morning's work. And that said, Dad, was that? Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, we went to Dad's office. Can you remember which teddy I left on the minibus? Was it Eddie Teddy? Or was it Little Moon Bunny? The answer is behind the jigsaw piece. Look, the answer is Little Moon Bunny. Watch this. We all go outside to see which friend of mine is on Suzanne's minibus. Look who I found on my minibus, Topsy. Your friend. Little Moon Bunny! Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Who's <coughs> here? Did you finish your lunch? I'll go and answer the door. We love it when our friend Mr Rosen comes round. He always has good ideas and things to do. I finished! Hi, Mr Rosen! <laughs> Hello, Topsy and Tim. 
Well, it's a, well, it's a wheelchair, Hi, isn't it? I need it to help me get around. Hello, Tim. Do you like sight, Mr. Rosen? Yes, a bit. Mr. Rosen had a fall. I did, and I had to go to hospital. But don't you worry, I'll be up and about walking very soon. <laughs> and there's lots of fun we can have when I'm in a wheelchair. Um, do you have a ball? Oh, yes, I'll get it. Topsy, give me a push. Yes! <laughs> Over here. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> this is fun. Right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is it like yes. a roller coaster Excellent. on there? Very good. I'm just going to pedal on, Mr. Rose. Would you oh, like a cup of tea? Thank you. Lovely, Joy. Thank you. Oh, very good, Topsy. Oh. Tim, perfect. That's just right for my special <laughs> exercises. Special exercises? Uh, special exercises? The doctors told me I had to do exercises to stay strong and get fit again. <laughs> now we can go back into the living room. <laughs> Bring the ball, Tim. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good. To the right, Topsy. To the right. Straight yeah, ahead. This is a tight Straight ahead. Space. Are you all right? Left. Left. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back. Left. Wonderful. Here we go. That's it. Oh, that's it. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Oh, now give me the ball, Tim. Here you go, Mr. Rosen. Thank you. If I do this with the ball, right? Up and down again. Up and down again. It keeps my arms strong. Here's your tea, Mr. Rosen. I'll just oh, pop it up thank here. Thank you, Joy. Okay. Now, Topsy, your turn to try my special exercises. Uh, up, up, down. Up, up, down. Up, down. Right, team's Let's next. Catch. <laughs> Do you have any more special exercises, Mr. Rosen? Ah, well, uh, there's the touchy finger exercise. The touchy finger exercise? Yes, What's it's that? to make my fingers strong so that they can do things like, uh, like hold a cup of tea. You see, you touch your fingers to your thumb one at a time. One, one. two, three, four. Oh. One, two, three, Four. Yes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Great work. You'll have strong fingers too. <laughs> oh, there's one more important exercise. This one's for my legs. Uh, I'll need a bucket and, uh, oh, some of those building blocks. I'll get the building blocks. I'll get the bucket. Oh. <laughs> Box. Okay, Mr. Rosen. That'll be fine, Doctor. Thank you. Here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Here. Here it is. Well done, Tim. Now, can you hang it on my foot, please? Yes, are these are Perfect. Okay. Yes, those are okay. Drop a couple in the bucket, please, Topsy. Okay. Oops. That's it. And put the bucket back. Great. Perfect. Okay. Now then. That's enough, that's fine. Are you ready? Yeah. Up, down. Up, down. It's good for my legs, you see. <laughs> good work. Do you think that a touchy little moon bunny will be able to have a ride in the buckets as well? Why not? All aboard! We'll get them! We'll get them! He must be a little bit tired. He's still not very well, you know. And maybe if he has a little sleep, he'll be able to play with you a little bit more later. Out we go. There you we go. were having fun. Yes. I know, but just let him rest and you can play with him a bit more later. I want to make Mr. Rosen a get well card. No, Topsy, we can make him a get well bucket. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, great idea, Tim. 
I'll get my make do my make and do box out. A special bucket. It takes a long time for us to get Mr. Rosen's exercise bucket just right. We draw pictures of him and stick them onto it. Lovely Topsy and Tim. Hello. Oh. oh, hello, Mr. Rosen. I'm so sorry. Did I go to sleep? <laughs> That's all right, Mr. Rosen. What have you got there? Well. Oh, what's that? It is an exercise bucket. It's a special one that we've decorated. It's for you, Mr. Rosen. Oh. It's a get well bucket. Thank you. It's beautiful and useful. I'm going to use it every day to do my exercises and think of you two, Topsy and Tim. I hope your legs get better soon, Mr. Rosen. Well, Tim, it does take a bit longer to get well again now that I'm older. <laughs> and that's what Mr. Rosen said. But I want to be out of this wheelchair by the time you two start school. But I want to be out of this wheelchair by the time you two start school, Topsy and Tim. And do you know why? No. Well, I can stand at my window and see the children walk to school over the footbridge. And I'll be able to watch and wave to you both from my window every day uh, when my legs are better. <laughs> and we'll wave to you every day from the footbridge on the way to school. We promise. promise. We really, really promise. And I promise too. <laughs> That'll be something really nice for me to look forward to. Oops. Now, now, let's use my new get well bucket and start some more exercises, right? Yay! Let's and that said, Mr. Rosen, what's that? Remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, our friend Mr. Rosen came round in his wheelchair. Can you remember what we made for him? Was it a get well bucket? Or a get well card? The answer is behind the jigsaw piece. Look, the answer is a get well bucket. Watch this. A get well bucket? Yes, we can stick things on it and decorate it. Oh, yeah, great idea, Tim. I'll get my make and do box out. A special bucket. It takes a long time for us to get Mr. Rosen's exercise bucket just right. We draw pictures of him and stick them onto it. week and Dad's going to play football. So Grandma's doing our bedtime. Now, where's my hello Grandma Huggle Twins? <laughs> Wee -wee. Wee. I'm off now, you two. Bye, bye Dad. Oh, bye. Have lots, Yay. Have lots <laughs> of fun with Grandma. Yay. <laughs> Mossy. And I'll get them ready for bed. Thanks, Mossy. Bye, Dad. See you later. Bye, bye. Dad. <laughs> right, you two. Bath time. But it's not bath time yet, Grandma. No. I know. 
But I'd like you to help me wash Mossy the dog. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. Would you like to do that sort of bath time? Yes, please! I can't wait to get things ready for Mossy's bath. Here's our bubble bath for Mossy's bath. Oh, that's a nice idea, Tim. But Mossy has a shower, not a bath. And she has her own special doggy shampoo look. Oh, yes. And she has her own doggy towel. <laughs> it's got a dog in it. <laughs> now, I need to test the water, Mossy. She likes it not too hot and not too cold. I think this is a good temperature. Try it. Yeah, it's not too hot, not too cold. <laughs> in fact, it's, it's just tickles. right, isn't it? It's just right. It tickles. That's good. Well, I think we need to get Mossy into the bath. Mossy, come on. She can. Mossy can use our bath step. Like this. And then Mossy climbs into the bath. That is a great idea, Tim. But I need to lift Mossy into the bath myself so she doesn't hurt herself. So can you just put the step back? OK. Thank <laughs> you. Topsy, you can bring Mossy up for her wash now. Topsy! Coming! Ooh. Oh! Well done, Twin. <laughs> She's in. <laughs> now it's time for her doggy wash. gets Mossy's fur wet and we get ready to clean her. Yes, that's oh, it's wet. like jelly. Can we start? You can. Bubbly. Yep, start. Bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. That's it on the bottom. Bubbly, that's bubbly. Right. Bubbly, bubbly, bubble, bubble. That's it. <laughs> Right, on her body and then down to her legs. Mossy's enjoying her one. Mm -hmm. So I know it will make it even better. Bath toys! Oh, ah, now, wait a minute, Tim, actually. That is a good idea, but... Mossy can't play with your bath toys because she might chew them. I know. Mm? She needs a dog toy. I'll be back in a minute, Grandma. OK. You can do her legs a little bit. Mossy likes to play with her ball. So I go and get it. Got your ball, Mossy! You can do that if you want. Just wet her neck for her. Just her neck. I've got it! I've got it! Oh, great. There we go. In it goes. Uh, pull up. Come on, I'm wet. Oh, you are! Oops! <laughs> 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 Tell you what I think we should do. I think the time has come, OK? I'm going to wash Mossy's head and then we can rinse her off. OK! OK! Once Mossy is soapy all over, Topsy rinses her with the shower water. Mossy isn't used to showers like we are. You need to be gentle. <gasps> Mossy's bath time isn't the same as our bath time, is it, Grandma? <laughs> no. Well done, ah. Topsy and Tim. She'll soon be squeaky clean. Squeaky clean. <laughs> squeak, squeak, squeak. Squeak, 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 squeak. Squeak, That's probably enough now. Ooh. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> 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 to get Mossy out now, don't you? Yes. Right. Come on, stand oh. over here, Tim. Yeah. I'm yeah. soaked. When Mossy gets out, it's time to dry her off with her special towel. There we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got it all wet, Mossy. Oh. We did, didn't we? She's a good girl, though. Oh, yeah. Well done, Mossy. Mm. No, well done. Well done. Clear up before Dad gets back. Hmm? Okay. Oh, right. Okay. Thank you. I got nothing more. Before we go up to bed, 
It's time for one last cuddle with Mossy. Oh, you smell nice and clean, Mossy. Oh, lovely, Mossy. <gasps> Dad! Daddy's home! Hello, Dad. Topsy and Tim. Yay. Did you have fun? Yes. yes! We had the best bath time ever, Dad. I didn't think it was bath night. No, we didn't have the bath, Dad. Mossy did. Ah. You need a bath, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Football mud. <laughs> You're going to run yourself a bath, Brian, before you read the twins their bedtime stories. OK. Tell you what, Topsy, you can both pick a story tonight. What story do you want? Um. 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 <laughs> and that's when Dad says... I miss Mummy's bedtime stories. I expect you do too. Yes, I do. I miss Mummy most of all at bedtime. Yeah, we all miss her. But there are only two more bedtimes until she comes home. Yay! Yay! I love Mummy and I love you, Dad. Oh, thank you. A hug always helps, doesn't it? Yeah. And a hug all! <gasps> oh! <laughs> Do you know, I think Mossy wants a squeezy hug too. Yes! <laughs> Mossy! Squeeze! <laughs> well done, Mossy. You know, thanks to you two, Mossy's had the best day ever. <laughs> thanks, Grandma. <laughs> and, and that's, that's it, Grandma. Was that? <laughs> Good at remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we helped Grandma wash Mossy. Can you remember which toy Tim brought upstairs for Mossy's bath time? Was it a ball? Or was it a squeaky bone? The answer is behind Wiggles the Rabbit. Look, the answer is a ball. Watch this. Mossy's enjoying her one. <laughs> so I know what will make it even better. Oh. Bath toys! Oh, ah, now, wait a minute, Tim. Actually, that is a good idea, but... Mossy can't play with your bath toys because she might chew them. I know. Hmm? She needs a dog toy. I'll be back in a minute, Grandma. OK. You can do her legs a little bit. Mossy likes to play with her ball, so I go and get it. Got your ball, Mossy! You can do that if you want. Just wet her neck more. Just her neck. I've got it! I've got it! Oh, great. There we go. In it goes. Uh, oh, I'm all wet! Oh, oh, you are! Oops! <laughs> 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 Good fun. See you soon. We're decorating our Christmas tree. <laughs> it's Christmas Day tomorrow. Do you remember him? The little Robin. Oh, look at that, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> so this Robin I made when I was your age. Mm. This was the angel that belonged to your great granny. To my mummy. Yeah, my granny. <laughs> this was the angel on top of her yeah, tree. Yeah, she's gorgeous, isn't she? Oh, how's yours going, Topsy? Good, thanks, Dad. Uh, look, Tim, I've nearly finished. It's good. It's really good. Like wow. that. Mm. Let's have a look. See. And what is it? It's a... Yeah, what is it? Father Christmas oh. pine card! Yay! Oh, it's brilliant! <laughs> now, why don't we stick that on the top of the tree? <gasps> oh, please, can I do it, Dad? Oh, yeah, I'll give you a hand. Idea. There you go. Okay, let me help you. Uh -huh. Here we go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Now, who is ready to turn the lights on? some Christmas Dad dancing! Us, we've got a present to wrap. Okay. Now, I've got your present wrapped for Daddy, okay? Once you've done it, you pop it under the tree for me. Okay, wait one second. Okay, Mummy. <laughs> Thank you. Quick, my voices. Tim, quick, take it upstairs. Wait, wait, wait. I wonder what Mummy has got us to give to Dad. I don't know. Wow! That's a big umbrella. <laughs> it's really long. Cool. Can you put it up, please, Tim? I wonder how big it is. Whoa! We'll all be able to fit under this umbrella. Yes, and when we go to school and it starts raining, we'll be dry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cool. Now we need to wrap. We we'll need lots of paper. So we. Oh, look, no. here's some paper. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe, Daddy, you can watch us wrap. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love wrapping presents. I like unwrapping presents. Tony's going to get a bike for Christmas. <laughs> but a bike would be a hard thing to wrap, wouldn't it? Yeah. On Kerry's list, Father Christmas. Yes. She's put games and toys and dressing up clothes for her dolls. Hmm. Tony's going to get a magic set too. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Ooh. Sounds like Dad's doing his jumping up and down dance. Oh, marvellous. <laughs> I want to go and see. Let's get this finished. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Family Christmas, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Christmas, Mum. Oh. Mm -hmm. Happy Christmas, love. Oh. oh, that reminds me. <sighs> Look what I've got. Some photos of you when you were a little boy. No, oh, they at are. Christmas, yes. <gasps> Christmas pajamas. Look at you there. And oh. there, you can see them really well there. Look. <laughs> yeah, I look. I look just like. You do. Tim. You do indeed. And look, do you remember that present? Yeah, I do. It's my uh, secret spy suitcase. That's right, it is. Well, you would love that. You really oh. did. <laughs> I've got so many happy memories of Christmas yeah. when I was a boy. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. I hope Topsy and Tim have lots of happy memories. Tim carries Dad's umbrella present behind his back. Ah, there you are. Look, I've got a special surprise for you two. Come with me. Now, what do you think of this? 
Wow! It's a Santa! Whoa! And watch this. Whoa, it's a light up Santa! <laughs> it's a light up for the Christmas! Yo ho 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 ho! <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant, Dad, thank you! Oh, you're welcome! I feel really Christmassy now! <laughs> Jingle bells! Jingle, Jingle bells! We can do some more Christmas dancing because I feel Christmassy now! Ooh, ooh, not just yet! I've got a job, you two Christmas elves. <sighs> this is a surprise present for Mummy from you two. Now, please, can you wrap it and put it under the tree? Hmm. Then we'll do some Christmas dancing. OK. Thank you. <laughs> no problem, Dad. We're good at wrapping umbrellas, aren't we, Topsy? <laughs> yes, very. <laughs> <laughs> Off you go. We're giving the same Christmas present to Mummy and Dad. After we wrap the umbrella present for Mummy, we get everything ready for Father Christmas and Rudolph. Kiss him. Oh, there, yes. I think Rudolph will like his carrots and mince pie. He'll definitely be very hungry by the time he gets to our house. Right, I'm off now, Topsy and Tim. Please, can I have my extra special Christmas Eve huggles? <laughs> now, remember to hang up your stockings and you must go to sleep if you want Father Christmas to come. Yeah, <laughs> I know, yeah. Bye. Bye. Thanks for your help today. Pleasure. Bye. Happy Christmas, everyone. Happy, Happy Christmas. Christmas. I'm off to the Christmas service. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. <laughs> bye, 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 bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Now, who Woo! wants to do some more dancing? Me! Yeah! <laughs> Santa Claus can really fit up. After we dance, we brush our teeth and hang our stockings up. OK, Topsy, where are you going to hang your stocking? I'm going to hang it here. Oh, perfect place for Father Christmas to find it. There you go. Do you think it's a bit low? No, I think it's perfect. There you go. My stocking, please. Don't. Yes, we can do yours now, Tim. Good idea. Only Teddy's on the front. He is. Come on, Topsy, should we go and see where Tim hangs his? Where do you think? Oh, perfect. <laughs> Mine's ready. Lovely. <laughs> now, when you wake up in the morning, those might be full of presents. <laughs> I want to look out of the window for Father Christmas and his sleigh. Me too. Oh, I can't see him. Well, Father Christmas can't come and fill your stockings with presents until you're fast asleep. So into bed, both of you, please. Boy, Tim, let's get your slippers off. Mm. Slippers! Into bed. There's Eddie Teddy. <laughs> Good boy, snuggle down. Night, night. Good girl, Topsy. Into bed, snuggle down. Night, night. Night, Love you. <laughs> Love you too. We try to get to sleep, but we're too excited. Tim, shall we have one last look out of the window for Father Christmas? Yes. Come over to my side. Still can't see him, Topsy. He could be anywhere in the world. Oh, wait, Topsy, what's that? Up oh, there, look! Wow! Wow! It's about the Christmas! Is it? And his sleigh! Are you sure? I think <laughs> it is! Mummy! 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 What is it? Look, look, look! 
And that's when Mummy said, Get a good, good night's night sleep. sleep. Tomorrow, tomorrow is Christmas Day. Get a good night's sleep. Because tomorrow is Christmas Day, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> I can wait for you and Dad to open your presents. <laughs> yeah. I'm really looking forward to it too. Night night, Toptastic Topsy. Night night, Mummy. Night night. You. you too. Night night, Twintastic Tim. Night night. Mm. Happy. And that, said Mummy, was that. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, we turned on our Christmas tree lights. Can you remember what Topsy made for the top of the Christmas tree? Was it a Father Christmas pine cone? Or was it a fairy pine cone? The answer is behind the jigsaw piece. Look, the answer is a Father Christmas pine cone. Watch this. How's yours going, Topsy? Good, thanks, Dad. Uh, look, Tim, I've nearly finished. It's good. It's really good. Like that? Mm. Let's have a look. See? And what is it? It's a... Yeah. What is it? Father Christmas oh. pine card! Yay! Great game! That was good fun. I just woke up and she was there. <laughs> Poor Mrs. Fluffy Boots. Are you lost? Topsy, do you think Bobby will let us keep her? I don't know. I'll go and ask Mummy, and I'll carry on stroking her. Boots. She likes her just as much as we do. Oh, you are a lovely girl. So, we ask if we can keep her. Pleasey, pleasey, double, please. Can we keep Mrs. Flappy Boots, Mummy? Please. Oh, I'm sorry, Topsy and Tim. You can't. Mm. I'm sorry. Oh. But she belongs to somebody else. Look at this lovely collar. She's very well cared for. Mm. So, you mean someone has lost her? Yes, and imagine how you'd feel if you lost Wiggles the rabbit. I'd be very sad. Mm -hmm. So would I. Well, Mrs Fluffy Boots' owner is probably looking for her right now. We've got to help them find her! But how will they know she's here? I've got an idea. We could take a photograph of Mrs Fluffy Boots and show all the people down our road the picture. Yes! To see if they know her owner. It's a brilliant idea. Please, can we take the photograph with your mobile phone, Mummy? Yes, you can, but after breakfast. Now, let's go and give Mrs Fluffy Boots a saucer of milk. <laughs> Don't worry, Mrs Fluffy Boots. We'll find your owner. After breakfast, we get dressed. 
and I take a photo of Mrs Fluffy Boots with Mummy's mobile phone. Me <laughs> and press that button there. OK. Say bye, Mrs Fluffy Boots. Bye. bye. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, that's a lovely photograph, Topsy. Come on, let's get it printed. <laughs> Topsy, let's go. Come on. Here's the printed photograph, Tim. Look, we can carry it. Oh, yes. It's great. Someone would know who owns this cat. Come on, Topsy, let's go. Coming. <laughs> Come on, Topsy. <laughs> OK, We crossed the road safely with Mummy. OK. Let's look left. Right. Left again. Are we clear? Yes. Yeah. Let's go. Tracy Miller! Hi, Josie! Hi, Topsy and Tim! Hi! Why have you got that big plaster on your forehead? Yes. It's because I fell off my bike. <laughs> we tell Josie Miller and her mum about Mrs Fluffy Boots. Um, but they don't know who owns the cat. No, sorry. Mr Fenn might know who that cat belongs to. Why don't you go and ask him? Okay. Over here, Mr Fenn! Mr Fenn, Mr Fenn! <laughs> We ask Mr Fenn if he knows who the cat belongs to. Do you know who this cat belongs oh. to? But Mr Fenn doesn't know who owns Mrs Fluffy Boots either. I'm afraid I don't at all. Mind you, I've got an idea who might know. Why don't you try Jamie the postman? Yeah, he might be able to help. <gasps> Jamie! <laughs> yeah. Jamie! 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 Get on the paper, please, you two. OK, Mummy. Please, Jamie, do you know who this cat belongs to? Ooh. No, sorry. Thanks, Jamie. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Thank Jamie. you. Right. We're never going to find this fluffy boots owner. Tell you what, why don't we have a break and have some lunch, and then we can come back and look for Mrs. Fluffy Boots owner this afternoon, OK? OK. It'll be all right. Mm. We all had salmon for lunch. And Mrs. Fluffy Boots drank water from one of Mossy's dog bowls. You're happy in our house. Aren't you, Mrs. Fluffy Boots? <laughs> I wish you could stay forever. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's at the door. I'll get it. Oh, hello. Hello. Is this where Topsy and Tim live? Yes. <sighs> yes, we're Topsy and Tim. Oh, well, I'm sorry to bother you, but I think you may have found my cat. Mm. I'm Mrs Higgly Piggly and I live in... The lady says she lives at the end of our road. And her name is Mrs Higgly Piggly. Ah, oh, look, there you are. How lovely to see you. Isn't Jamie the postman marvellous? He said if you've lost your cat, go and knock on the door of Topsy and Tim and here I am. We will miss you, Mrs Fluffy Boots. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs Fluffy Boots? Is that what you call him? Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. sorry, Topsy, but Mrs Fluffy Boots isn't a Mrs. He's a Mr. He's a boy. Oh, oh yes. A boy? Yes. <gasps> Even and his name is Tiger. <gasps> Tiger! Hello, Tiger. Hello, Tiger Fluffy Boots. <laughs> Tiger Fluffy Boots. Oh, that's splendid. I shall call you Tiger Fluffy Boots from now on. <laughs> Come on, let's get the Tiger Fluffy Boots back in his carriage. Oh, yes. Here Come we on. go. Now you know where Come you on, live. Tiger. There we go. Oh, and that's when Mrs. Higgly Piggly said. Please come and have tea with us very soon. Please come and have tea with us very soon, Topsy and Tim. Oh, yes, come in, Mummy, come, come we, come we. Yes, of course you can. Thank you, Mrs Higgly Piggly. Oh, thank you. Now, off we, we go. go. Oh, good. Will oh, you? Thank, thank you very much. I'll open the door. Bye-bye. Oh, Bye-bye, darling. Let me take him now. Oh, yes. Got him. Heavy, isn't he? <laughs> yes. Bye bye, Topsy and Tim, and thank you again. And that said, Mrs. Higgly Piggly, was that? Bye bye. 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 Hello. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? 
This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, we found a lost cat. But can you remember what we used to take a photo of the cat? Was it Mummy's mobile phone? Or was it Dad's pocket camera? The answer is behind Wiggles the rabbit. Look, the answer is Mummy's mobile phone. Watch this. <laughs> yes, please, can we take the photograph with your mobile phone, Mummy? Yes, you can, but after breakfast. Now, let's go and give Mrs Fluffy Boots a saucer of milk. <laughs> Don't worry, Mrs Fluffy Boots, we'll find your owner. See, look, after breakfast, we get dressed and I take a photo of Mrs Fluffy Boots with Mummy's mobile phone. See, I press that button there. OK. Say, nice, Mrs Fluffy Boots. Nice. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, that's a lovely photograph, Topsy. Come on, let's get it printed. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Topsy, let's go, come on. Here's the printed photograph, Tim. Look, we can carry it. Oh, yes, it's great. Someone would know who owns this cat. Come on, Topsy, let's go. Coming. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. When we start big school, Miss Terry will be our teacher. We met her when we went to visit our new school. And today, she's coming to our house. What are you doing, Topsy? I want Miss Terry to see all of my cuddly toys. Topsy, what's that on your hands? Oh, I was helping Tim paint his spaceship. Sorry, Mummy. No, it's all right. Don't worry, I'll just get a cloth. Is Tim painting too? Yes, I think so. Give me your hands, please, Topsy. You need to be clean to meet your new teacher. Tim, where are you? I'm here. Oh, look at you. Let me wipe your face and hands. You need to be clean for Miss Terry, and she'll be here soon. Why is Miss Terry coming to our house? Teachers need to meet all new school children before their first day. Helps you get to know each other. Your hands are nearly done, thank you. I want to play in my space rocket. Well, you can play in your space rocket later, Tim. But please, come downstairs now. Be polite, meet your new teacher. Oh, the aliens are about to attack. Mummy! I'm coming, Topsy! Caroline Terry, we met when you visited the school. This is my teaching assistant, Miss Bess. Hello. Hello, pleased to meet you. I'm Joy and this is Topsy. Hi, Topsy. Hello, Miss Terry. Hi, Topsy, I remember you. Hello, Topsy. <laughs> Hello, Miss Bess. Oh, where's Tim? He's upstairs in the space rocket. <laughs> he yeah. doesn't want to come down yet. Sorry, but please come in, make yourselves at home. Thank you. <laughs> yes, come and see my toys, Miss oh, Terry and Miss Bess. Love to. They're in here. Look. Aww. This is Little Moon Bunny. Hello. It's Frederick. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello, Frederick. Oh, I'll put the kettle the, on. Thank you. Make you have tea. This is Dr. Sausage Dog. Oh, hello, Dr. Sausage. Oh, dear. Oh, poor thing. He's hurt his leg. Yes. His other normal leg is upstairs. Oh. In my bed, sad. Would you like to come and see? Yes, I would. Come on. <laughs> Mrs. O'Dell, is it OK if we go upstairs with Topsy? Yes, of course. You'll find Tim in his bedroom up there, too. Yeah, come you. on. Lots of equipment there, haven't you? Yeah. Hmm. Look, this is Dr. Sausage, Dr. Sausage Dog's yeah. other leg. Oh. This is how I make him better. I see. Oh, look, that's clever. Actually, there's someone in my bag who needs a vet's checkup, Topsy. This is Mr. Honeybear, our class teddy. Would you make him better, please? Yes. Oh, poor honey bear. I'm going to put a plaster on your paw. Oh, that's kind of you. Like this. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Oh, 
Lovely. Thank you. I think I'll take him to say hello to Tim. Yes. OK, Tim's in the room next to mine. Oh, thanks, Topsy. Miss Bess, could you please find a sticker each for Topsy and Tim? Of course, they're in my folder downstairs. Meow, sure. Meow. Tim? Hello. May I come in? I brought our class teddy, Mr Honeybear, to say hello. This is Eddie Teddy. Oh, hello, Eddie Teddy. Let's shake paws. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Well, I love this super space rocket. My goodness, you know, um, our class had a special space week last term. Oh. Mm. We um, made planets and rockets to hang from the ceiling and alien masks to wear. Oh, I love to wear an alien mask. Do you? Well, that's good because I brought some along to show you. Come and have a look. Oh, yeah. They look funny. <laughs> what are they? <laughs> alien masks. <laughs> what do you think? Should we try them on? <laughs> yes. Which one would you like to try on, Tim? I'll wear this one. All right. What about you, Topsy? This one, please. Oh, oh I like the good. googly eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me help you. There we go. Let's go downstairs and show <laughs> Mummy. Yeah, there we go. Topsy and I put on an alien mask. So does Miss Terry. Mummy, we're funny oh, and scary aliens. <laughs> and Tim says he's ready to come downstairs now. Oh! <laughs> you certainly are. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, I've got some special space drinks for you all in the kitchen. Tim meets Miss Best and we drink our alien apple juice. Then Miss Best gives us both a sticker. Right then, I have got some stickers for you. <laughs> so there we go, one for you. Thank you, it's a bunny rabbit. <laughs> and there's one for Tim as well. There you go. Oh, mine's just a boring old umbrella. Actually, your rabbit sticker and your umbrella sticker are very important, Topsy and Tim. Miss Best is going to put a rabbit sticker and an umbrella sticker just like those on your pegs at school. And on your first day, you'll know where to put your bag and coat. Thank you. I love my bunny rabbit oh, sticker. good. It makes me think of our rabbit, Wiggles. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Terry. Thank You're you, Miss Best. You're very welcome. I think... My umbrella stick is okay. Thank you. You're welcome. That's <laughs> 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 oh, oh, yeah. wow. 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 Oh my goodness! Where did these masks come from? <laughs> our teacher, Miss Terry, and our teaching assistant, Miss Bester, here. Oh! <laughs> come and see them, Dad. Go yeah, yeah. them with them. Okay, let's go, Tim. Hi, Hi, I'm Brian. Sorry I'm late. Oh, not to worry. Nice to meet you. Oh, dear. Sorry. I <laughs> to see. <laughs> oh, look. Oh. Car disaster. Mummy, where's the cloth? That needs a wash. Oh, dear. There you go. Go clean him off. <laughs> Sorry. Dad, you have to be clean for Miss Terry. <laughs> Mummy told me that. Thank you, Topsy. Now, Topsy and Tim, do you have any more questions you'd like to ask me about school? Yes. Will Tim and I be able to sit together on our first day? Yes, of course. Actually, all 30 children in my class sit together on the carpet. Um, but how will we get to know all the children's names? Oh, you will. We'll play lots of name games. You'll be fine. Now, we have lots more children we have to visit today in their homes, and I think they might like to see the alien masks too. So please go have them back. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. We've really enjoyed our visit. Thank oh, well, thank you for coming, Miss Terry and Miss Best. <laughs> and we will see you, Topsy and Tim, next week for your first day at school. Yes, you will. <laughs> Bye. 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 Thank you. And that's when Dad says... And by then, you will both be five years old. Yeah. <laughs> And by then, you will both be five years old. It's your birthday, remember? Yes. Oh, yes, we're having a party this weekend. <laughs> have great fun at your party and tell me all about it at school, won't you? And that, yes. said Miss Terry, was that. <laughs> Remembering. Yes. 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 Yes
going. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, we had a teacher visit. Can you remember what masks Miss Terry brought round to show us? Were they alien masks or animal masks? The answer is behind Wiggles the Rabbit. Look, the answer is alien masks. Watch this. Fun. See you soon. When Grandma's dog Mossy comes round to our house, we play ball. Good girl. Now, catch. Yay! Well done, Mossy. Tim, smoothies. I'll be back in a minute. Wash hands, please, Tim. Oh, okay. <laughs> A little bit of ice for madame. <laughs> <laughs> I love your smoothies, Dad. OK. Ready, <gasps> steady, smoothie! <laughs> the blender is really, really noisy! Mossy! <laughs> and it makes Mossy bark! Mossy never likes the noisy blender! Blender, Mossy. I think Mossy's barking at something outside. Oh, Tim, look! Up in the tree! Oh, yes! It looks like Tiger Fluffy Boots, which is Higgly Piggly's cat. Ah! Oh, do you think she's stuck? Yes, um... Dad! Dad! What is it? Look, it's Miss Higgly Piggly's cat. We think he's stuck in that tree. That's why Mossy was barking. Oh, yes. We need to go and see if we can help Tiger get down. But will one of you stay with Mossy, please? Oh, I will. I will. Oh, poor old Tiger. Oh, he's really high up. Yeah, he's a good climber. Hello, Tiger. <laughs> oh. Topsy, is he all right? Yes. I don't think Tiger Fluffy Boots is stuck, Tim. He's happy. Cats love climbing trees. Yeah. There's no need to worry. Tiger will come down when he's ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Tiger Fluffy Boots. He doesn't like Mossy's barking. Hmm. Let's go indoors and help Tim with Mossy. Tiger Fluffy Boots will come down on his own when the barking stopped. OK, Dad. OK. We take Mossy into the kitchen and she has a drink from her bowl. Okay. Mossy stops barking and we have our smoothies. Smoothies. Mm. Well, 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 well. Mm, these are really nice, Dad, thanks. Mm. <gasps> oh, Mossy! <laughs> yes, I know, Mossy. Mrs Higgly Piggly's cat is <laughs> still up in the tree. Dad! What's going on? Look! <laughs> Tiger Fluffy Boots is even higher up there now. I don't think he can get down. I think he's really quite stuck now. Can you get him down, please, Dad? Oh, yeah. You can climb the tree and rescue him, Dad. Yes. OK. I'll borrow Mr Fenn's ladder. Oh, yay! Brilliant, Dad! Please, will you both stay inside and play with mushy, noisy pants so she stops frightening Tiger the cat with her barking. Oh, yeah, yeah. yes. Um, she likes playing with cuddly toys, so... Here, Mossy. You can play with Fluffness today. All right. Here we go. Hey, this should do. OK. We'll soon have the cat down. Don't worry, Tiger. Dad and Mr Ben will get you down. We give Mossy our old teddy Fluffness to keep. And she forgets all about Tiger the cat. Brilliant. Come on, 
close. Come on. Come on. Come on. Tiger. Come on. Come on. Hello, Josie. Hi, Marie. Hi. What's going on, Mr Odell? Mrs Higgly Piggly's cat stuck up this tree. There, look. Oh, dear, no, he's gone too high up the tree. Sorry, Topsy and Tim, I can't reach Tiger. They said it wasn't safe for them to climb up so high when a cat gets stuck. They said it was a job for the fire brigade. Wow! Even though we're worried about Tiger Fluffy Boots, we can't help getting excited when a fire engine comes down our road and pulls up on our drive. <laughs> One of the firemen is Carson, who is our friend Kerry's dad. He'll rescue Tiger. See the problem. All right, lads, let's get the ladder off the truck. Okay. Right, careful, boys, careful. There you go. Keep going. That's it, yeah. That is pitch. Just when Carson is up the ladder rescuing Tiger. Okay. Is that Tiger up there? Mrs. Higgly Piggly's cat? Yeah. There you go. Good boy. <laughs> Here he is. Him. <laughs> oh. oh, thanks, Carson. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Tiger. We need to get you back to your owner. She's a friend of mine, you know. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mrs. Higgly Piggly's house. Grandma phones Mrs. Higgly Piggly and tells her the Tiger Fluffy Boots had to be rescued from a tree. And then we take him home. <sighs> Hello, Hello, Mrs. Higgly Piggly. Oh. Here Thank you, thank you so oh. much for bringing Tiger oh. Fluffy Boots back home. <laughs> Why did you go so far up the tree, Tiger? That was my Mossy the dog's fault, wasn't it, Topsy and Tim? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mossy barked at you, didn't oh, she? Oh, dear. Oh, Tiger. But we stopped Mossy barking, and then the fire brigade came to rescue Tiger. Mm -hmm. Oh, did. It was so exciting. Oh, you should have seen what happened. It was, wasn't it? Yes. And that's when Grandma said, I think it's time to go home for tea now. I think it's time to go home for tea now, Topsy <laughs> and Tim. You ready to say goodbye? Bye bye, Mrs. Higgly Piggly. <laughs> See you soon, Tiger like Fluffy Boots. Oh, yes. Bye bye, Jean. Goodbye, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> bye. Bye. Come on. Mossy will be waiting for us at home. And that's it, Grandma. Was that? Doggy biscuits and tea. Which doggy biscuits would you like to? Hello. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, Tiger Fluffy Boots was stuck up a tree. Can you remember what Dad borrowed from Mr. Fenn to try and rescue Tiger Fluffy Boots? Was it a ladder? Or was it some rope? The answer is fine, Wiggles the rabbit. Look, the answer is a ladder. Watch this. Brilliant. All right. there you go. Come on, Puss. 
Come on. Come on. Come on. Tiger. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fun. See you soon. Tip, tip. Come on, Tim. Wakey, wakey. Today, Mummy's taking us to visit Big School for the first time, and we're going to meet our teacher. Kerry said her big brother Jaden got lost the first time he went to Big School. I know. I hope we don't get lost inside school today. Come on. Do you think we will? Morning, Topsy and Tim. Are you ready to see your new school today? Yes! No. <laughs> My tummy hurts, Mummy. Oh. I don't feel well and I want to stay in bed. Oh. Well, you feel fine to me. Not hot at all. I think you're worried about your trip to big school. Come and have breakfast. There you go. I'll have your breakfast on the table in five minutes. OK? Come on, Tim! Your lovely fruit smoothie for breakfast. I think it'll make you feel better. Mm. It's yummy, Mummy. Oh, good. Oh. Hello, Jean. Okay, hold on. It's Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Yes, I'm really looking forward to it. Bye, love you. Oh, thanks, Topsy. Is she still there? Oh, hi, Jean. Thank you so much. We'll, we'll give you a call a bit later. Let you know how it went. OK, bye. Oh. You seem really excited about going to see inside your new school today, Topsy. <laughs> oh, Tim, why aren't you dressed yet? I told you, Mummy. I've got a tummy ache and I want to stay at home today. Tim. You really do feel fine to me, my twin tabulous Tim. Mm -hmm. Now, I think that your tummy just feels a little bit wobbly and nervous today because of your school visit. But you know what? If you two stick together today, you'll be fine, OK? <laughs> what if we get lost today, Mummy? In the big school? You won't. Mm -hmm. Make sure we don't get lost inside big school today. How? I'll show you. Come with me. This will make you feel better. Okay. We can make a trail in big school today. Why? Ah, that's what they did in the story of Hansel and Gretel. Remember? They put little crumbs in their pockets mm -hmm. and then dropped them out one by one. And walked into the forest. Oh yes, and they followed the trail of crumbs back out of the forest, back home. And when we go into big school today, we are going to make a trail of blocks so we don't get lost. So imagine we're in big school and I've got lost, but I've left a trail of these blocks behind me for you to find me. OK. Let's try it. Count to 20. Oh, yeah. No peeping. I promise. I'll follow the trail and find you. Seven, eight. <laughs> Twenty. Coming. Following the bricks and I'll find you. All over the floor. I'm looking for Topsy. Found you! <laughs> Topsy and 
Tim, what's going on? There are bricks everywhere. Sorry, Mummy. It's our trail. Your trail? What for? When we go inside big school today, we are going to make a trail of blocks so we don't get lost. Like this. Well, it's a very clever idea, but... It's Topsy's brilliant idea. Well, it's a very clever idea. But I'm sorry, you won't be allowed to leave a trail of bricks around big school. But we don't want to get lost, Mummy. We're doing what Hansel and Gretel did. Oh, Topsy and Tim. Please don't worry, OK? You are not going to get lost at big school today. OK? OK. But Jaden got lost. Kerry told me. <laughs> no, he didn't get lost. He and his mummy, Dominique, got lost on the way to big school. They couldn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we know where big school is. We won't get lost. Yes, exactly, you see. And Dominique just phoned to tell me that I'm allowed to visit your new classroom with you. I can go in with you at big school today. Oh, great! We won't get lost if you're with us, Mummy. Exactly! Now, listen, you need to get dressed and have a slice of toast, OK? OK. How's your tummy feeling? Oh, my tummy's a little bit better, Mummy. Good. Now, we leave in ten minutes, Tim, so hurry up. Go up and get dressed. OK, Mummy. We got to big school on time. We didn't get lost. And we ran all the way home to telephone Grandma and tell her all about it. Hello, Grandma. It was brilliant. Our teacher's called Miss Terry and she read us a really good story about pirates. Yeah, here you go, Tim. It's your turn. Oh. Hello, Grandma. Good. Oh, we didn't get lost, Grandma. And the school's really big. It's got two playgrounds and two climbing frames. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. Bye, Topsy. Speak to Grandma. Bye, bye, Grandma. I love you. Bye. Yeah, Mummy. Oh, thank you. Thanks. All right. Thank you so much, Jean. Bye. I really like our new teacher, Miss Terry. And that's what Mummy said. You will see Miss Terry again in a couple of days' time. You will see Miss Terry again in a couple of days' time, Topsy and Tim. She told me she's coming to visit us. At our house? Why? Well, it's called a teacher home visit. It's so that you can get to know one another even more. Yes! I can't <laughs> wait! I can't wait! I can't wait! I really, really want her to come right now! And um, yes! <laughs> Aww. Are you OK, Tim? I wish Tony Welch was coming to our school, Mummy. I know. But he moved house, remember? He's going to a different school. I know that. Do you like Miss Terry, Tim? I don't really know. Mummy, my tummy hurts again. Oh, Tim, are you a bit worried about starting school again? No, I just think I'm really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> well, it has been a very busy morning. Come on, let's make some lunch. And that, said Mummy, was that. <laughs> Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, before we visited school, we played a game. Can you remember what Tim followed on the floor to find me? Was it a trail of crumbs? Or was it a trail of bricks? The answer is behind the jigsaw piece. Look, the answer is a trail of bricks. Watch this. Tim, why are there bricks all over the floor? I'm looking for Topsy. Found you! <laughs> Topsy and Tim, what's going on? There are bricks everywhere. Sorry, Mummy. It's our trail. Your trail? What for? When we go inside big school today, we are going to make a trail of blocks so we don't get lost. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Wow! Thank you, thank you, thank you, Grandma! I love our new bike. Oh, good! Now, how about 
a grandma huggle. Squeeze! Grandma has given us our first bikes ever. Our new bikes have got stabilisers to help us to learn to ride them. <laughs> you can practice riding your bikes all afternoon long whilst I pop off to my meeting. And I can help you. I don't need any help, thanks, Grandma. Riding a new bike is easy. Well, learning to ride a new bike isn't always easy. Now, off them until you go outside. Let's yes, push them out into the garden. Is it? it? Is. Well, we need to pop your helmets on then, don't we? Yeah. Go. So we take our bikes out of the garden. And Mummy gives us our helmets. Enjoy yourselves, Topsy and Tim. Good girl, let me just check your helmet. Lovely, OK. Right, how are you doing, Tim? Oh, you done that up? Yes. All right, let's move yours forward a little bit as well. OK, everybody get set. Right. OK, twins, off you go. Oh, look, Grandma, look, Tim, I can do it. Brilliant. Ooh. <laughs> oh, you're going fast, Topsy. Riding my new yellow bike isn't as easy as I thought it would be. Grandma, can I have some help? Oh. Ah. OK. Here we go. Mossy! Oh. Mossy, come on. Come on, Mossy, inside. Inside. Mossy, Mossy, come on. Come on, Moss, good girl. Come here, come here, come on. I think we should go inside because Tim's learning to ride his bike and you're getting in the way. Here we go, here we go. Good girl. Push your feet around on the pedal stem. OK. Oh. Can you give me another push, please? Oh. Up we go, let's go. Oh, sorry, we'll go outside. Topsy stays on her red bike all afternoon. <laughs> Topsy's still going. Now, where do you want to sit? I'll stand, Grandma. You're going to stand? OK, well, I'll sit down then for a minute. I don't want to ride my bike anymore. Come on. I'll help you. OK. <laughs> right, let's go and get on it. Well done, you're on it. OK, now, you don't have to worry about wobbling over cos you've got stabilisers, OK? OK. Just push down on the pedals with your feet. If you wobble, I'll catch you, right? Okay. Okay. Let's see, off we go. That's it, Tim. That's it. You're doing it. Uh, That's Grandma, it. Ow! Well done, Tim. Ow. That's ow. it. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Oh. Ow. What have you done? Let's have a look. Are you all right? No. Oh. I show Grandma my hand, and there's a thorn in it. Right, come on. Let's go inside. We'll soon get that out. Thanks, oh. Grandma. Dear. You were doing so well too, Tim. Grandma pulls the thorn out of my hand and makes it better. And a kiss. Now your hand is well again, Tim. <laughs> oh, I think this is Mummy back from her meeting. Hi. Hi. Oh, dear. What's happened? I fell off my bike into a bush. Oh. Tim was trying so hard on his bike and he was just getting the hang of it when he fell. Mummy! Mummy! Come and see me ride my bike! Oh, wow, Topsy! Looking good! <laughs> Come on, Timmy, you're not coming back out on your bike again? No, my hand still hurts. I don't want to ride my new bike anymore. I know what you need, Tim. A bicycle lesson from your mummy. Come on, Mossy Doggy. Come on. Out in the garden. Come on. Here. I think Grandma's right. Why don't I go and get my old bike and then we can practice together in the garden? Oh, yeah. What do you think? Mummy's old bike is dirty and dusty. It has a baby seat on the back. Did I used to sit on this tiny seat when I was a baby? <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> You'd sit on the back of my bike and Topsy would sit on the back of Daddy's bike. Oh, careful. There we go. Now, why don't you go and grab your helmet 
and then we can go out into the garden. Yeah, okay. Coming! 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 <laughs> right. Do you want to watch me ride my bike? Yes! yes. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Woo! <laughs> Mummy rides her bike in circles. She's really good at it. And her bike doesn't have stabilizers. Okay, you lot, it's your turn now. Topsy, Tim. Oh, well, Grandma. Yes, yes, Grandma! <laughs> no, not me. Now I think I think you two should show Mummy what you can do. Yes! Let Mummy watch me! Oh, that's brilliant, Topsy. Oh, very good. Good girl. Come on, Tim. Why don't you show Mummy how you can ride your bike? I decide to have another go at riding my bike. Yes, you can do it, Tim. Seeing Grandma to go home, we gave Grandma some flowers, which Mummy let us pick from the garden, to say thank you for our new bikes. Oh, aren't they lovely? Thank you for our new bikes, Grandma. Oh, oh. We absolutely love them. Those are lovely. You know what this demands, don't you? Squeeze! Squeeze. Who wants to ride their bikes to the park? Me! Mossy would like that too. <laughs> So we can all go together and we can call in on Josie Miller and she can ride her bike there too. Yay! <laughs> Josie will love my new red bike. <laughs> and I hope she'll like my bike. Yeah! Yeah! And that's when Mummy said, When you start big school, you can ride there on your bikes with Josie. <laughs> when you start big school, you can ride there on your bikes with Josie, Topsy and Tim. Yeah! Come on, let's cycle to the park. Oh. <laughs> and that, said Mummy, was that. Come on, come on. Come on. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, Grandma gave us new bikes. Can you remember the colour of Tim's bike? Was it red? Or was it yellow? The answer is behind Wiggles the Rabbit. Look, the answer is yellow. Watch this. I decide to have another go at riding my bike. present for us in the garden. Double, 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 double. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Topsy, Tim, you can open your eyes now. Oh, Happy oh. birthday! A house! <laughs> A playhouse! <laughs> Thank, Thank you! you. Whoa! <laughs> Are you 
you like your playhouse twins? Yes! And look at the front door. This house belongs to Ta and Ta. But Topsy and Tim! This is the best birthday present ever! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I can't wait to show Tony Welch our new playhouse. Well, you'll be able to at your party later. Yay! It's a birthday! We're having a party! <laughs> We're going to play musical chairs at our party and it's our job to find enough chairs. I find the chair in the porch that we sit on to take off our muddy shoes. Topsy! I find Mummy's spinning office chair. <laughs> Everyone's going to want the spinning chair. <laughs> Look what I found! We can use this as a chair. <laughs> yeah. Please, Topsy and Tim, because we're opening the presents after the party, remember? <laughs> Thank you so much for the extra chairs, Dominique. But we still need more chairs for the party. Yeah! Yeah, we're playing musical chairs! <laughs> yes, we are! Thank you. We play musical spinning chair while we wait for our party to begin. <laughs> oh, okay. Where's Mummy? Is it Tony? No, it's Mr. Fen from next door. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Fen. Hello, Joy. Hi. Hello, Mr. Fen. Happy birthday, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Topsy. <laughs> is this a spinning chair, Mr. Fen? Yes, I got an urgent message. You needed more chairs for your party. Huh? Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. So, is this going to be your chair for the party table? No. I think my friend Tony Welch would like this spinning chair best. Ah. <laughs> Lovely. You take it in there, Tim. Good boy. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Fen. Right. See you later. Bye. Soon, we have enough chairs for all our friends. But we need two more for us. Someone give me a hand, please. Oh. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad. Two more chairs for the birthday girl and boy. Can you give me a hand, please, Now, we are ready for the party. And just in time. Happy birthday, twins. Oh, Tony, I'll take those. Thank you. In you go. Happy birthday, Tony. Once everyone's arrived, we play our musical chairs game. Who's ready to play musical chairs? Me! <laughs> wins the musical chairs prize and you get your special <laughs> prize everybody the winner everybody smile again or say cheers there's a chair for everyone to sit on at the party table and lots of food <laughs> Ready for a big surprise. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it's a dino butterfly cake. <laughs> <laughs> there are dinosaurs 
dinosaurs and butterflies on our cake. Big deep breath. Everyone sang and we blew out our candles. <laughs> then we played more games and it was time for our friends to go home. Before Tony Welch goes home, I take him out to the garden to show him our new birthday presents. I can see my dad! Hi, Dad! Happy birthday, Tim. Nice house. Thanks. Tony can come and play in it all the time. Please, Dad. Please, Mr Welch. We won't be at the same school, but we will still be best friends. And that's when Mr Welch said, Tony can come and play as often as he likes. Tony can come and play as often as he likes, Topsy and Tim, as long as your mummy and dad say it's OK. Yes, of course it is. <laughs> In fact, why don't I put another T just here? And tough for Tim and tough for Tony, yes! Yay. Yes! The house can belong to all three of us, Tony! Yes, yes, I know! I know! In here! In here, guys! <laughs> Come on, Tony. It's time to go. Come on. Oh, thanks for inviting me to the party. Happy birthday, Topsy. Happy birthday, Tim. Don't forget your party bag, Tony. Good luck at your new school! Tony will be back to play before you know it. <laughs> Come up here, Mummy! Right, yeah. And that, said Mummy, was, was that. that. Us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play! <laughs> today was our birthday party. Can you remember who won the game of musical chairs? Was it Tony Welch? Or was it Andy Anderson? The answer is behind Wiggles the Rabbit. Look! The answer is Tony Welch. Watch this. Only three chairs left. Oh, oh, it's a bit of a squash. Oh. <laughs> Tony Welch wins the musical chairs prize. And you get your special <laughs> prize. Everybody, the winner! Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. OK, can you take those, please, Topsy? OK, Dad. I can't wait to see Mummy. <laughs> Mummy has been visiting Granny Molly, who has been poorly this week. Mummy's going to love these flowers. <laughs> yeah, of course she is. But now Granny Molly's better, Mummy's coming home. We're going to pick her up from the railway station later. When does Mummy's train arrive, Dad? At uh, lunchtime, so we need to hurry up and plant these. Through you go, into the kitchen. Thank you. We're planting hanging baskets, either side of our front door. As a surprise for Mummy when she gets home. <laughs> the one for me, Dad. Yeah, of course there is. Oh, good. Yeah. That's yours. Thank you. Dad and I put newspaper on our kitchen worktop. Fold it. There we go. Just the right size, Dad. Yeah. Maybe one more, please. Thank you. Gardening in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. 
Well, it's not really gardening, Tim. It's making something. We're making hanging baskets. And um, what's the newspaper for? To make sure we don't get too messy. Now, are you ready to plant your very first hanging basket? Yes! Yes, OK. Can you grab the basket for me and put it on the surface? This is very special soil, Tim. It's called compost. Compost. Yeah, now, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> the compost just goes straight through the basket. Yeah, correct. So, we need to put that green lining inside the basket. Thank you. Straight in there. Now, you try putting some more compost in. Okay. The compost is going inside the basket and it's staying in here now. Yeah, well done, Tim. So, you carry on filling the basket up with compost and I'll grab Topsy. Okay. Topsy, can you come and make your hanging basket, please? Oh, look! Oh, very good. Tim shows me how to put the liner and compost in my basket. And then I plant my strawberries. Wow! Look, Dad, I've got four strawberries on my strawberry plant. Great. And your plant will grow even more strawberries soon. Sunshine and water is all they need. Please, can we pick one and eat one now? No. I know. Let's save them till Mummy gets home later. Yay! Mm -hmm. OK. Topsy, my Mummy will love eating my strawberries. Topsy, super wash your hands, please. Right, now your hanging baskets are finished. All we need to do is hang them up. Oh, careful, Dad. Ooh. You're dropping compost all over the place. <laughs> yeah, I'll try not to. I know what to do. We need to make a road. Great idea, Tim! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's like a rocking road. Yeah. Here's the newspaper. Newspaper road! Coming through. Dad carefully carries our baskets outside to hang them up by the front door. Okay, very good, thank you. Thank you. Our hanging baskets are up! And Mummy's going to love them. OK. Do we really need to water the plants now? We've only just made them. Oh, yes. We need to water them okay. every day. Maybe even no, twice a day. me and Daddy. Oh, sorry, Tim. <laughs> it's OK. Yeah, plants get thirsty, yeah. especially in summer. OK, thank you. Danny Pop. There oh. we go. <laughs> <laughs> Can we go and collect Mummy now, Dad? No, not quite yet, Tim. We're stuck... Oh, my goodness, look at the time. Come on, stop, Tim, Tim, we need to go now. Help me tidy up inside and find my car keys. Dad drives us to the train station, just in time. Yeah, I'm going to see Mummy first. Oh, hold on to my hands, please, Topsy and Tim. Don't run to the platform without me. Thank you. But the platform is empty. Mummy's train hasn't arrived yet. Oh, now, you see this yellow line here, Topsy and Tim? Mm -hmm. Yes. You must never cross that line. Why, Dad? Well, because the yellow line's there to stop people getting too close to the railway tracks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like that. Very good. <gasps> Look, Dad, Tim! Oh! Oh, hanging basket. Can we go and watch the man? Yeah, I think he's about to water them. Should we say hello? Yes. yes. We find out that the man's name is Bob. He works at the station. We tell him we just made our own hanging baskets for Mummy. Hi, Bob. I'm Brian. Nice to meet you. Hi, Brian. <laughs> Would you like to help me water these hanging baskets? Yes, please! We tell Bob we know all about hanging baskets. They need lots of compost, and compost is special soil. And we tell him that you need to water them twice a day when it's warm, because they get thirsty. <laughs> This is fun! <laughs> Good boy! My go, my go, my go! We all get a little bit wet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> In 
the basket, Topsy. Lovely. Yes, you'll go. Thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Let's get back to Bob. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. <gasps> Topsy and Tim, I think there's someone here to see you too. Bob. Goodness, you're both so wet. What on <laughs> earth have you been up to? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Welcome oh. home. Oh, how I are you? you so oh, and I miss you so much. OK, let's take these back to the car, shall okay. we? As soon as she gets out of the car, Mummy notices our hanging basket. Oh. Wow, look at these. Do you like them, Mummy? Do you like them? They're amazing. The flowers are red. And it matches the front door. Red's my favourite colour. It's brilliant, Tim. Thank you. Are those strawberries? <laughs> yes. There were only four at the moment, but you can pick them and eat them, Mummy. Oh, we can all share them. Thank you, Topsy. That's so clever of you. And that's when Mummy said... Oh, it's good to be home. I've missed you. Oh, it's good to be home. I've missed you, Topsy and Tim. We've missed you. And we've missed you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Welcome home, Mummy. <laughs> now, let's get inside and wash these strawberries because I can't wait to eat. <laughs> and that, said Dad, was that. Remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play! <laughs> today we made hanging baskets for Mummy. Can you remember what Topsy planted in her hanging basket? Was it flowers? Or was it strawberries? The answer is behind Wiggles the Rabbit. Look, the answer is strawberries. Watch this. Oh, wow, look at these. Do you like them, Mummy? Do you like them? They're amazing. The flowers are red. And it matches the front door. Red's my favourite colour. It's brilliant, Tim. Thank you. Are those strawberries? <laughs> yes. Yeah. We're only four at the moment, but you can pick them and eat them, Mummy. Oh, we can all share them. Thank you, Topsy. That's so clever of you. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Stop, 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 stop. We're wearing shoes at bedtime. Stop. Stomping is really noisy. <laughs> I love stomping in my new shoes. Me too. Oh, it's you too. I thought it was a herd of elephants marching down my stairs. <laughs> elephant Topsy and Elephant Tim playing. <laughs> yes, an elephant. <laughs> so stomp, this stomp, us. Stomp. We came down in our new shoes to say, we're ready for stories, please. Oh, OK. Well, I have to say, you both look very smart and grown up in your new school shoes, <laughs> even in your <laughs> pyjamas! <laughs> <laughs> now, can you two please stomp, 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 stomp those shoes back upstairs to your bedrooms, please? Stomp, 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 stomp. Shoes off and into bed! Oh, we want to wear our shoes on bed, Mummy! Please come, Mummy, please don't, please! <laughs> no, of course you can't wear your shoes in bed! Well, it's, not <laughs> it's not fair! Up to bed, please! Stomp, stomp. Mummy reads us our stories and tucks us in. Then it's lights out and time to go to sleep, as usual. Night-night, Mummy. Night-night, darling. Snuggle down for me. Can you have a little moon, Bunny? Yeah. Night-night, Twintastic Topsy. Night-night, Twintabulous Tim. Sleep well. But I can't get to sleep. Tim? Thank <laughs> you. 
and see if Tim is awake. But he's not. Tim is fast asleep. Dominique? Can I have Kerry tonight? Yes, of course, no problem. Come on in. Come in, Marie. <gasps> Kerry? Hi, Topsy. Topsy, what are you doing out of bed? Oh, I couldn't sleep. Why is Kerry here? Hi, Topsy. <laughs> Don't worry about that now. And why have you got your school shoes on? Sorry, Mummy. I'm wearing my new school shoes too. Snap! Snap! Now, I've got to get to work. Now, are you sure it's OK for Kerry to stay tonight? I couldn't believe it when the babysitter cancelled at the last minute. Oh, honestly, there's no problem. She's welcome any time. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> now, Kerry, I love you very much. Make sure you're a good girl. I'm sorry I have to go to work. That's OK, Mummy. I love you. You're staying in our house, Kerry! Yeah! Kerry's mum is a nurse. Sometimes she has to work at night in the hospital. Usually, Kerry's dad is at home to look after her, but tonight he's taking her brother camping. Oh, there you go. Can I put it in my room, Mummy? Yes, I think in your room is the best place for Kerry, don't you? Boing, 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 boing. Come on, Kerry, you can put your duvet on it. Uh, I'll get the duvet, you get the pillow. I've got the pillow. <laughs> You've got you. Topsy. Wake him up. <laughs> What's happening? Why is Kerry here, Mummy? Where is the sleepover? Well, can I come? Yeah. Mummy, Mummy, please, can Tim come? <laughs> yes, of course you can. Yes, you're going to join the sleepover. Mummy moved my mattress into Topsy's bedroom so I could join the sleepover. Come on, your bed's ready. And we all put our new shoes in a row and say good night to them. See you in the morning. <laughs> Boing! Right, into bed, you three. It's way past your bedtime. OK, Mummy. Oh, OK, Kerry. I miss my Mummy. Oh, I know. Hello. You lie down, close your eyes tightly, and you go to sleep, OK? Who's a good girl. You're being very grown up about having a sleepover in our house. <laughs> in fact, you're all having a very grown up sleepover. <laughs> <laughs> Snuggle down. Night night, children. I'll see you in the morning. Bye night. Bye. Night, mummy. Bye. Guys, I feel like I want to put my shoes on. Me too. Me <laughs> three. <laughs> Down, please. No more talking. It's time to go to sleep, all right? No, no, no. Topsy? Yes? Tim? Yeah? I was scared about coming to your house to sleep, but now I'm really, really happy I'm here. Oh, good. <laughs> we love you being here. <laughs> good. <laughs> Guys? Can I tell you something? Well, I'm scared of how going to big school. Why? Why? Well, you two will have each other to play with, and Tony isn't coming to our big school, so I won't have Tony to come and play with us. Oh, I know. You'll always have us. That's not the same. I'm scared too about going to big school, but me as well. But we're all grown up now, so we can go to big school. And, and we'll be fine when we're there. And we will be able to wear our school shoes every single day. Yay! Yay! <laughs>
<laughs> in the end, we finally got to sleep. Mummy has to wake us up in the morning. Good morning, sleepyheads. Morning, Mummy. Morning, Mummy. Hello. Were you okay in the night, Kerry? Yes, thank you, Joy. I loved my first sleepover. <laughs> and that's what Mummy said. You are very grown up now. Oh, you are very grown up now, Topsy and Kim. And you too, Kerry. <laughs> Having a sleepover, starting school. And look, Mummy, we wore our shoes in bed. <laughs> <laughs> you wore your shoes in bed? You silly sausages. <laughs> Come on, it's time for breakfast. And that, said Mummy, was that. <laughs> Good at remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we had our first ever sleepover. Can you remember who came round to stay with us? Was it Josie? Or was it Carrie? The answer is fine, Wiggles the Rabbit. Look, the answer is Carrie. Watch this. Carrie? Hi, Topsy. Topsy, what are you doing out of bed? Oh, I couldn't sleep. Why is Carrie here? Hi, Topsy. <laughs> Don't worry about that now. And why have you got your school shoes on? Sorry, Mummy. I'm wearing my new school shoes too. Snap! Snap! Now, I've snap, got snap, to get snap, to work. Snap, now, are you sure it's OK for Kerry to stay tonight? I couldn't believe it when the babysitter cancelled at the last minute. Oh, honestly, there's no problem. She's welcome any time. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Enjoy visiting big school tomorrow, Topsy and Tim. Well, Thanks, Josie. Bye. Thanks for having Josie to play, Joy. Oh, it's Thanks a pleasure. Thanks for having Josie, you're welcome. Bye. 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 Bye Josie. Josie goes everywhere on her bike. She even rides it when she comes to our house. And we live just across the road. And she cycles to school on her bike. When we start big school, I go to cycle there every day. Like Josie does. I'm going to go on my scooter. Oh, look, it's Grandma. I'm off for my run. Thank you so much for coming to look after Topsy and Tim for me, Grandma. It's my absolute pleasure. Going in. Oh. Mummy, mm -hmm. when we start school, please can we ride our bikes there every day, just like Josie does? No, I don't want to go on my bike. I want to go on my scooter. Do you know, I hadn't really thought about how we'd get to school yet. Um, I know. Why don't we do a test run now? Yeah! Come on my run. Oh, that yeah. sounds like a good idea. I think so. Yeah! Tim? You could go on your scooter and Topsy, you could go on your bike. Great! Yeah! We can go to Hatcham Primary School and then back again. Yeah! Come on, let's get your helmets on. Red for Topsy. <laughs> and yellow for Tim. We set off with Mummy. Grandma stays at home while Mossy sleeps. <laughs> I zoom ahead of my scooter. Too fast, Tim. Wait for us when you get to the end of the road, please. OK, Mummy! I already know from Josie that I have to stay on the pavement until we reach a cycle path. Keep good on that new bike, Topsy. <laughs> OK. Hey, wait for me. Let's stop. Let's check. Left. Right. Left again. Perfect. Let's go. I came back on Topsy's bike. And I came back on Tim's scooter. <laughs> Why did you swap? 
just for fun. Sorry. And to see which way was easier. And which way did you prefer, Topsy? I prefer my bike. Oh. Bikes are more grown up. What about you, Tim? I like scooting on my scooter. Scoot, scoot, scoot. <laughs> scoot, 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 scoot. How was your run, Joy? Yeah, it's great, thanks, Jean. <laughs> Do you know, when your dad was little, we didn't have all these choices. We just walked to school and that was that. Oh, in fact, I brought something to show you. Grandma has some old photographs in her handbag. Let's have a look. What is it on my lap, Tim? Look, now, this is your dad on his first day at school. What? <laughs> That's Dad? Yes! Didn't he look smart in his uniform? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Got a bit of a big sweater on, hasn't he? I can't he? believe I'd ever look like that. <laughs> you know, you look a lot like him, Tim. Mm. And look. Oh. What's Mummy got? I've got what pictures? some pictures oh. of me in oh. my school uniform oh. on my first day at primary school. Look, you look so <laughs> sweet, Mummy. <laughs> You look lovely. I like your school uniform, oh, Mummy. And I can't wait to see you two in your uniforms on your first day at school. Oh, <laughs> oh hello, Mossy Doggy. Mossy. Oh, you're awake at last. Yes. Now, is she ready for a walk, do you think? Yes, yes, she's ready. Good, because I have been thinking, Topsy and Tim, we could try walking to your new school now with Mossy if you'd like to. Walking? Oh, yes! It's cool! Yes! It'll be fun! Oh, and we can do a shortcut over the old railway footbridge. Oh, yes! Oh. The footbridge near where Mr Rosen lives. <gasps> Mr Rosen, we've forgotten all about our promise to Mr Rosen. Oh! Yeah, we promised Mr Rosen that every day we wave to him before we go to school on the footbridge. So, Tim, we can't go to school on our bikes or our scooters. No. We're going to have to walk <laughs> without our bikes and scooters so we can yes, walk to Mr. Over Rosen. the footbridge. Yes. And we can wave to him there. Yeah. We can't break our promise. Otherwise, Mr. Rosen will be sad. We can be anything if we close our eyes and dream. Best friends forever. We like the walk to school. Mummy pointed out Mr. Rosen's home from the footbridge, and we all waved. But Mr. Rosen wasn't at his window today. Uh, do you think Mr. Rosen will be at his window to wave to us on our first day at school, Mummy? Yes, of course he will. He promised. And Mr Rosen is a good friend who doesn't forget his promises, just like you two. I'm so excited about going to school. Oh, I know. How about you, Tim? Our school looked really big today, Mummy. Yes, Hatch and Primary is a big school. Lots of children go there. But I don't think I want to go to big school. You know, I was really worried about starting big school, just like you. Once I got used to it, I really loved it. Really? Yes, I did. And you will love it too. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what Mummy said. Tomorrow you will go inside your new school for the first time. Tomorrow you will go inside your new school for the first time, Topsy and Tim. It's the day of your school visit. You'll meet your teacher and all the other children in your class. I can't wait to go to big school. <laughs> I just don't want to go. Oh, Tim. Once you've seen your new classroom and met your teacher, going to big school will all feel fine. It'll be Come. fine. OK? OK, Mummy. OK. Now, Tim, it's time for you to get tucked up in bed. Night, night, Daddy, Teddy. <laughs> night, Tim. Night, night, Topsy. Night, Mummy. Oh, night, night, my top-tastic Topsy. Good girl. <sighs> Thank you. Oh, lovely cuddles. Thank you, Topsy. Night-night. Your visit to big school will be really good fun tomorrow, Tim. So you need to get a good night's sleep, OK? And 
that, said Mummy. Was that? Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today we had a practice school run. But can you remember the colour of Tim's helmet? Was it yellow or green? The answer is fine because the rabbit. Look, the answer is yellow. Watch this. Tim? You could go on your scooter and Topsy, you could go on your bike. Great! Yes! We can go to Hatcham Primary School and then back again. Yeah! Come on, let's get your helmets on. Red for Topsy. <laughs> and yellow for Tim. We set off with Mummy. Grandma stays at home while Mossy sleeps. <laughs> I zoom ahead of my scooter. Not too fast. I already know from Josie that I have to stay on the pavement until we reach a cycle path. Okay, wait for me. Let's stop, let's check. Left, right. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! for you or for your garden. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Jean. I'll take it through. Ah. Tim, come and see. It's quite small for a tree, Grandma. That's because it's a sapling. It's a baby tree, Topsy. Tim, Tim, come and see. Grandma's brought us a baby tree. Where is Tim? He's upstairs in his bedroom. Yeah, Tim's cross because he wanted to play with Tony Welch today. But then I told him that he couldn't because you were coming round with the tree. Ah, uh, I'll go and see him. Okay. Mummy, will that little tree grow apples? Yes, it will. Wait for just one minute, Topsy, and I will show you. Come and have a look on the computer with me. Good girl. Spinny chair. Spinny chair, right. You're going to sit on my lap? Yeah. OK. little tree will grow apples like this and when it's fully grown it might even get as big as this. Whoa that yeah. tree has got a lot of apples. <laughs> it really does and if we want our little apple tree to get apples like that we need to dig a big hole in the garden and plant it. <laughs> Please can we do that now mummy? Yes of course we can and maybe grandma and Tim will help us as well. Yes. You get your apron on because we'll get mucky and I will get the and the gardening gloves. Why are you upset, Tim? Come on, you can tell Grandma. Well, I really wanted to go and see my friend Tony today. Mm. He's moving away and I might not see him again. Oh, of course you'll still see him, Tim. He's not moving far away, and you're such good friends. Come on. I know something that will cheer you up. What? I'll show you. Just trust Grandma, OK? I trust you, Grandma. <laughs> Grandma tells me to find Mossy's plastic tub of treats. Here it is. Perfect. I'll have to find another tub for Mossy's biscuits. We need this one today. Why? Because this tub has now become our memory box. A memory box? Yes. A box where we put memories we want to keep forever. Why? Because it's nice to look back and remember happy times. What happy times can you remember sharing with Tony? Lots. 
I'm going to find great things to put in the memory box. I'll show you. I'll find things upstairs. I've kept two funny things that I did with Tony under my bed. Our cardboard twin, Tim. Tony and I danced with it. And our horse's head, made from a welly boot. These are for the memory box, Grandma. Oh, good, but, oh dear, look, they're too big. They have to fit inside Mossy's treat tub, remember? Well, they won't fit in. Oh, you just have to find smaller things. Can you just help me clear away the table, Hi, please? Tim. We've been digging in the garden. Take your boots off, Topsy. Good girl, and super wash your hands, please. Let me take your gloves. Good girl. Tim, you should come and see our baby apple tree in the hole we've dug for her. <laughs> oh, not just yet, Topsy. Tim's busy. He's helping me make a memory box with this. But that's Mossy's tree tub. <laughs> not anymore. I'll buy Mossy a new tree tub. Tim is putting things in this that remind him of happy times. Oh, what a wonderful idea. Oh, I want to help with the memory box. I know what can go in. Oh, your nursery school photo. took the photo and look at the funny face Tony's making. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put this in. Tim, are you wearing odd socks? Oh yes, look. I swapped one of mine with Tony. He's <laughs> got a hole in it, look. <laughs> <laughs> Tony with toe. I know, Tim. Why don't you put your Tony sock in the memory box? Oh yeah. And I know what else can go in. Oh. We've put lots of fun things in the memory box. I find a piece of the marble run that we made with Tony and Renda, and I put it in the box. Our memory box is full of happy memories. Done! Done. Oh, really? Oh, right. Well, this memory box is now ready to be hidden. Hidden? <laughs> Why? Well, that's the point of a memory box. You put it somewhere to keep your memories safe. And they stay there till you grow up. Thank you, Jane. Oh, thank you. And I have a very good idea of the perfect hiding place. Oh, where, Grandma? Where? <laughs> Follow me. Well, he's on first. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, oh, brilliant. Come on. OK. First, we put the baby apple tree in the big hole that top says, Doug. Down. Oh, is it in? There oh, we go. Oh, that good. that's good. There we go. Oh, that's it. Now, I tell you what you need to do. <laughs> Mommy! It's over there, Tim. That's it. Down. Ooh. Top of the tree. Right. Now, oh. there you go. We plant our memory box under the tree. Oh, there we are. Boy. There you go, memory box. Enjoy your new home. <laughs> I love where we put our memory box. <laughs> and I love our new apple tree, Grandma. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's Making a memory box of our Tony was just as good as playing at Tony's house. Oh, good. Thank you, Jean, for such a lovely, good, fun day. <laughs> When we look out to the window, our baby apple tree looks really happy. One day, we might dig up our memory box that's underneath it. But only when we're older and our apple tree has grown. You know, trees take a long time to grow and there won't be apples on there for a few years yet. We've got to wait until the tree gets much bigger. Mm. Like you, Mummy. <laughs> bigger than me. <laughs> this big! And that's when Grandma said... You, you should, should measure, measure yourselves right now. You should measure yourselves right now, Topsy and Tim, and then you'll always know how tall you were on the day you planted your tree in your memory box. Yeah, me, yeah. And then me, then. Well, um, guess who I am going to measure first? Uh, me? Me? Not Topsy, and not Tim. You. Grandma. Me? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Grandma. And that's it, Mummy. What was that? Hello. Hello. Are you good at remembering?
remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, we planted a tree in our garden. Can you remember what else we planted in the garden? Was it a memory box? Or was it Mossy's ball? The answer is behind Wiggles the Rabbit. The answer is a memory box. Watch this. Oh, right. Oh, brilliant. Come on. OK. First, we put the baby apple tree in the big hole that Top says dug. Plant our memory box right onto the tree. Oh, there we are. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Shoes on, please, top the internet. Yes, Mummy. Tony Welch's dad is coming with us to the nursery school today. He's going to take a photo of us all on our last day. Hi Paul, hi Tony, come on in. Hi Joy, hello everyone. Hello Mrs Odo. Hi. hi Tony. Hi, Tony. hi Mr Welch. Hello Topsy. Why are you wearing your football kit Tony? Because I want to for the photo. <laughs> What's that? Well this is a tripod. It makes my camera nice and steady so I can take a really good picture of all of you. We made a biscuit for you. One because we wanted to thank you for taking our picture today. It's very nice of you. Look at this. It's shaped like the sun because we hoped it would be sunny for our nursery school photo today. Oh, I hope so too. Let me have a try. Mmm, oh, very nice. Here you go. You pop it on. Okay. Let's play cat. Just about to leave. Oh. Okay. Oh dear. Okay, well, thanks for letting me know. Yeah, I'll tell everyone here. Okay, thank you, Miss Maple. Bye. What did Miss Maple say, Mummy? She said that they've found a wasp's nest in the roof of the nursery school building. Wow! Well, cool. And she's very sorry, but Tillywink's nursery school will be closed today. Oh, Bye. that's a shame. Well, if you find a wasp's nest in a building, you can't let children go in and play there. Miss Maple needs to keep the nursery as safe as possible. Mm, of course. But it was our last day of nursery school today. Oh. And now my dad can't take our class photo. It's not fair. I know. Tony, you could stay here and play with us. Yes, we can have the last day of nursery school at yeah. our house. <laughs> And if you got all your nursery class round, then I can still take this picture of you. Yes! Come on, Mummy. Please, double, <laughs> double please. <laughs> I think that is a brilliant idea, Topsy and Tim. I'll call Miss Maple straight away and ask her to invite everyone here for the last day of nursery school. Yes! <laughs> Miss Maple says yes. She'd love us to hold nursery school at our house. And she arrives with all our friends. And we do circle time as usual. OK, Topsy, why don't you stand up, have a think about it, and tell everyone what makes you really happy at nursery school. What makes me happy at nursery school is... Playing with all my friends. Oh, yeah. that's lovely. Thank you very much, Topsy. OK, Kerry, your turn. Stand up and tell us what makes you happy. What makes me happy at nursery school? I love story time about funny animals who can talk. Oh, I like those too, Kerry. Thank you very much. Um, your turn now, Tim. What makes me happy about nursery school is... snack time. <laughs> <laughs> we all like snack time, don't we? Well, if we're very lucky, maybe we'll have snack time soon. Well, if Miss Maypole agrees, 
We could have snack time now. <gasps> what yes, do you think? Please. Yes, 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 please. Thank you very much. I wonder what we're going to have today. Very special treat from Topsy and Tim's mummy. Topsy and Tim have made you all biscuits. Oh. A biscuit. All our friends take a biscuit each. Then there's just the smiley biscuit left. It's Miss Maple's special biscuit. This is for you. The smiley face biscuit. It's beautiful, thank you so much. It's smiley just like just like you. Oh, thank you very much, Topsy and Tim. Mmm. Okay, who'd like a drink? Me! Oh, lovely. What are we going to do after we've had our drinks and biscuits, Miss Maple? Well, if we're very good and finish our snack time, I've got a very special idea. Hold Here we go. Hold it nice and tight. There you go. Miss Maple wants us to make a big handprint picture in the kitchen. Mummy finds some paper and we get our paints out. Topsy goes first. of all of our handprints. Oh, Lovely, good girl. Look at my hands, Mum. Made them all clean now. Perfect and clean. Go on, show Miss Maple. Oh, let's see. Miss Maple, I wash my hands. Sparkling, perfect. You can come and help go me on, take this out to the garden. Go. Off you go, Vinda. Go and wash the your garden. hands. The garden. The garden. Why the garden? Because Tony's dad is going to take a special class photograph for us out in the garden. Yay! Really carefully, Topsy. Brilliant. You ready for the photograph? We get ready to have our photo taken on the patio. Come on, everyone, quickly, quickly. That's it, make sure we all get on. That's... Come on, underneath, that's it. Everyone peep their heads over. We all got our hands on it. Fantastic. OK, well, that'll be perfect. OK, I am ready when you are. Dad, take the photo. Yeah, Dad, Tim's still washing his hands. Don't worry, Tony. Tim will be on the photograph. You all will be. Come on, Tim. Come on, Tim. Come on, Tim. Now we are all ready for our nursery school photo. I'm ready. Thank you, Topsy and Tim, and your mummy too, for inviting us all to spend the last day of nursery school here. You've been such a special class, and I wish you all a very happy time at big school. Now, everyone, look at the camera, and let's say... Tiddlywings! Tiddlywings! Oh, look, that's perfect. Oh, it's lovely. OK, let's do some more. Right, everyone say Tiddlywinks again. Here we go. On three, one, Ready, two, everyone? three. After everyone has gone home, Tony's dad shows us the photos. I like that one where we're all pulling funny faces. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good one, isn't it? I liked having the last day of nursery school at our house. I feel sad that we're never going to go to Tiddlywinks Nursery School again. Oh, but you'll feel happy when you all go to big school together. Yes! <laughs> I can't wait till I go to Hatcham Primary School with all of my friends. Oh, look at that one. That's a really good one. And that's when Tony said, I'm not going to Hatcham Primary School with you. I'm not going to Hatcham Primary School with you, Topsy and Tim. Why? Why? Um, I'm moving house, so I'll, go, I'll be going to a different big school, won't I, Dad? Yes, that's right, Tony. Our new house is too far away from Hatcham Primary School, so we're going to take Tony to a different school instead. It's not fair. I know you feel sad, but we'll still see Tony lots. We'll make sure of it, won't we, Paul? Yes, of course, I promise. At the weekends? Mm -hmm. In school holidays? <laughs> Forever! <laughs> 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 Let's dance! You never, really, never, really, never! You really are yes, great yes, friends. Yes, 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 yes. And that, said Mummy, was that. <laughs> Are you going to 
good at remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, all our friends from nursery school came round. Can you remember what Tony Welch was wearing? Was it his football kit or was it his new school uniform? The answer is behind the jigsaw piece. Look, the answer is his football kit. Watch this. Hi, Joy. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello, Hello Mrs Odo. Hi, Hi Tony. Hi, Tony. Hi, Mr Welch. Hello, Topsy. Why are you dressed in your football kit, Tony? Because I want to for the photo. <laughs> Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. We've been to the shops to buy everything we need for our birthday party tomorrow. We're going to be five. I love my shiny number five balloon. And me. Well, hold on tight to your balloons, please, Topsy and Tim. Let's get them safely in the car. Stick with me, please. When we get home, we're going to tie our balloons to the front door. So people know it's our birthday. Tim, over this side, please. Careful of the cars. Right. I love my balloon. So do I. So excited. Tim, would you hold these fairy cakes for me, please? Yes. Thank you. Mmm, they look yummy. <laughs> yes, they do. Hold them really carefully, please, whilst I put everything in the car. Yes, because we don't want the cupcakes to get squashed. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. They smell nice as well. Are we going to have a real birthday cake with candles on, Mummy? As well as these cakes? Yes, of course you can. Please, can we have a butterfly cake with blue candles on, Mummy? Oh, no. I would like a dinosaur cake with red candles, please, Mummy. No, please, can we have a butterfly cake, please, Tim? No. We're going to have a dinosaur cake, aren't we, Mummy? <laughs> you will just have to wait and see. <laughs> oh. Now, hold those for me, Topsy. Can you climb in for me, please? Uh-huh. Good girl. Oops. Here, get into your seat for me. Thank okay, you. I'm going to put my balloon in first. Just a minute, Topsy. Tim, can you carefully put the cakes between the two seats, please? Thank you. Move your balloon, please. Topsy. I can't, Tim. It's too big. Oh, oh Mummy! I can't fit my balloon in now. Hello, Topsy and Tim. Hi, Joy. Hello. Oh. oh, hello, Grandma. Topsy! Oh. Oh. Fit in the car. Oh, please don't let Mossy bust my balloon, please, Grandma. I won't. Oh, I see. You've got a car full for the party. <laughs> I know. What a surprise to meet you here. I have been birthday present shopping, but you know, I can't remember who for. We know. We know for us. us. <laughs> yes. Oh, look at your car. It is so full. How are your lovely big balloons going to fit in? Oh, I have no oh. idea. I know, I know. We could hold them like this, out of the window. Oh. oh, no, Tim, that's a bit dangerous if I'm driving. And they might burst. Yeah. Then how are we going to get them home? Oh, oh, I know. Well, Grandma, you could take them in your car. Do you mind, Jean? Would that be all right? Oh, yes, I've got lots of room. I'm parked just over Grandma. there. I will, I've got it. There we go. If you could just give them... There you go. That's all. Oh. I can bring them round to your house later. It's not fair. <laughs> now listen, take a deep breath, OK? Grandma will take extra special care of your very special balloons, OK? Oh, cheer up, Topsy and Tim. You can help me carry the shopping inside. I'll take the cakes. Oh. I'm going to take the cakes. Oh, I wanted to carry the fairy cakes. There you go, Tim. Right, come. Okay, there you go. Oh, oh be careful with the cakes. 
please, you two? Oh, I Topsy, to can you help me carry your bag, please? Here you go. Straight up to the house, please, Tim. Oh, OK. Oh, Tim! Tim. Oh, why couldn't I carry the fairy cakes? I'm carrying them. And you're carrying the bread. And apples. But it's my turn. No! I'm carrying them! No! No! no. I was carrying them. <laughs> it was him. He did it. Alright. No! You push me! Oh, come on, you two. It's fine. It's just an accident. But I did ask you both to be careful. It's not fair. It's all your fault. No, it's all Tim's fault. But when something like this happens, you just need to take a deep breath and have some quiet time. So please go upstairs. Topsy, can you bring your coat to me, please? Careful of the cakes and go upstairs to your room, please. Oh. We don't like being sent up to our bedrooms. I feel really sad. Topsy? Tim? Hello? Hi, Mummy. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry, Mummy. Oh. Try and be good all the time when we are five. Oh, thank you. Now, listen. We all get a bit cross from time to time. We just need to take a breath and calm down, OK? But look, I brought you some squash fairy cakes and they still taste really yummy. <laughs> oh, good. Yes, yum, yum. Mmm, thank you. Tim, I don't mind if you have a dinosaur cake on your birthday, Tim. And on my birthday. <laughs> no, it's OK. We can have a butterfly cake. I really don't mind. <gasps> How about... A butter saw cake or a dino butterfly cake. Yeah, oh, yeah. one of those, please. Yes, Mummy. A dino butterfly cake, please, <laughs> Mummy. OK, perfect. <laughs> oh, Grandma's here. <laughs> Grandma's here with our balloons. It's Grandma and Mussy. With our balloons. <laughs> Don't forget to hold on tight to the street, Tim. Oh. Okay. Oh, my balloon! Oh. Oh. oh, no! It's gone, my balloon! Oh, it's not fair. Sorry, Tim. And that's when Mummy said, when something like this happens, you just, just need to take a deep breath. When something like this happens, you just need to take a deep breath, Topsy and Tim. Don't worry, Tim. We can share my balloon. Oh, thank you, Topsy. Good girl. We only need one five balloon to tie in our front door. Don't we? Well, let's tie it on tightly to the door now so this one doesn't float away. Yeah. And, and that's, that's it, Grandma. Was that? Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, we were bought balloons for our birthday party. Can you remember whose balloon blew away in the wind? Was it Tim's balloon or Topsy's? The answer is Tim's balloon. Watch this. Now, don't forget to hold on tight to the street, Tim. Oh. OK. Oh, my balloon! Oh. Oh. oh, no! 
It's gone, my balloon. Oh, it's not fair. Sorry, Tim. Now listen, when something like this happens, you just need to take a deep breath, Topsy and Tim. Okay. Don't worry, Tim, we can share my balloon. Oh, thank you, Topsy, good girl. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. We're inviting all our friends to our birthday party and we're going to decorate our house. Please, may I have a look in the box at all the party decorations? Grandma. Not yet, Topsy. First, I need my Hello Grandma Hubble. Oh, not now, Grandma. Oh. Tim's writing his name on their birthday party invitations. Well done, Tim. Then I shall have my huggle from you first, Topsy, and then with you, Tim. Okay. Come on, Topsy. Squeeze! <laughs> Please, may I have a look in the box at all the party stuff now? Go on, then. Come on, Topsy. Special party bunting, Topsy. We'll decorate the room with it for your fifth birthday party. I think Mossy likes it. Oh, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, careful, Mossy, out of there, please. Yes, I think so. <laughs> do you know, I think she might be a bit thirsty. Oh, I'll get you a drink of water, Mossy. Come on. Mossy, a water bowl. Topsy. Look, we're using the orange pen to do the mmm in Tim. Uh, there, done. Look, Topsy, I've written my whole name all in different colours and in my best handwriting. Look, Topsy. Oh, that looks nice, Tim. It's especially for Tony. Hey, Mossy! <coughs> Can you just please write your name just here? In a minute. Oh, Mossy. <laughs> in a minute. No, please, Topsy, can you do it now? I just need to fill the bowl. No, Topsy! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Topsy, look. Look what you've done. It's oh, all really wet. Sorry. And the writing's gone all runny. I'm really sorry, Tim. You can do Tony another card. No, I can't, because that was the last one. Oh, Tim! I told you I was sorry! Please come back down! I feel sad that I made a mess of Tim's special invitation for Tony. But it was an accident. I didn't mean to do it. Hmm. Oh, I wish Tim would come downstairs now. Oh. Leave him for a little bit and then we can pop upstairs and see him later once you've got all his invitations, OK? Look, do you like it, Grandma? Oh! It's Josie Miller's invitation. Yes, that's lovely writing, Topsy. And well done. That's all the invitations finished. But we need one more invitation. We can't give Tony this one. It's all wet and smudged. Oh, yes. Topsy, I've got an idea for Tony's invitation, but I need your help. Oh, what are we going to do? Come and have a look at this. Oh. Mummy's idea is to make an extra special invitation for Tony on the computer. It's a surprise for Tim. Tim? Tim? I've come to say I'm sorry again. I've made a special invitation for Tony. What is it? I made it on the computer with Mummy, look. It's a special invitation. Made from a photograph. <laughs> well, Topsy, using a photograph was a really good idea. I know. Open it. Oh, yes, Mummy's written the party things inside. <laughs> Do you think Tony will like it? 
I think you will absolutely love it. Thanks, Topsy. That's okay. I'm really sorry I messed up your special invitation, Tim. Oh, it's okay, because this invitation is much better. <laughs> but I know how we can make it even better, Topsy. Come with me on the computer. Okay. Do you think you have any more photos of Tony on your computer, please? Yes, I've got lots. Let me see. Hang on. Do you think you have a photo of me, Tony and Topsy? Um, let me see. Oh, like this one? I guess that's brilliant. <laughs> that's the photo we should use at the back of Tony's invitation. Oh, look, Topsy and Tim with Tony. That's nice. Now we need to decorate it in number fives. Oh, OK. Well, tell you what, why don't you both jump on my lap and we can get started. I know how to do it. Mummy told me. Now, click on the number five you want to use. Uh... Drag it over onto the photo, Tim. Good boy. Yay! Well done. Number five. Nice. do one, Tim. Yep. <laughs> number five's a big number. Do one. Mm, do one. We decorate Tony's photo together. Well done, you two. Now we print it? Yeah. And when we print it, it looks really good. Oh, I say. Oh, Take it. Well clever. Yes, who? That's beautiful. Oh. Show it to Topsy. That's, That's really good. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay, now, all we need to do is. Stick it on the back of Tony's invitation. Yes. Okay. I'll get Why some glue. Get some glue. That's right, Topsy. Oh, I think it's in there. No, it's here. Oh. <laughs> Stick it on. Oh, you're right, Tim. Oh, we go. I'm going to write his name green, and then we can both sign our names. Yes, from both of us <laughs> in our best handwriting. Yes. That's a good idea. We take ages writing Tony's card. All in blue! <laughs> then I show Tim Grandma's party box. Look at this red party hat. Woohoo! He's got the Wow! Oh, look at this green hat! <laughs> Thank you for helping with the party things. <laughs> That's okay, Grandma. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Oh, hats. Can I try one? Yep, here. Oh, actually, I've got the candles. There we go. <laughs> what do you think? You're <laughs> funny, Grandma. <laughs> oh, and that's when Grandma said... Mossy's, Mossy's ready, ready for, for her walk. walk. Mossy's ready for her walk, Topsy and Tim, so shall we walk her to the post box so you can post your party invitations? Yay! I want to post Tony's extra special invitation. And I want to post you? Juicy Miller's invitation yes. through her door. She only lives across the road. Yes. Yes. May I, Mummy? Yes, of course she can, Topsy. We can pop it through her letterbox yes. on the way. Oh, Come go. on, everybody, let's go. And that, said Mummy, was that. <laughs> Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, we made some special party invitations. Can you remember the number we used on our special invitations? Was it number four or was it number five? The answer is behind Wiggles the Rabbit. Look, the answer is number five. Watch this. Now we need to decorate it in number fives. Oh, OK. Well, tell you what, why don't you both jump on my lap and we can get started. I know how to do it. Mummy told me. Now, click on the number five you want to use. Uh, Drag it over onto the photo, Tim. Good boy. Great game! That was 
is good fun. See you soon. On the day we started big school, I woke up very early. I was too excited to sleep. anymore. Tim, wake up. We're starting big school today. <sighs> shh, shh. You'll wake up, Mummy and Dad. It's still really dark outside. Look. Yeah, I can only just see our twin swings from in the bathroom window. I love our twin swings. Me too. Do you remember when Dad built the twin swings and he lost all the bolts? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and do you remember we found the bolts and you and Kitty found the frog? Oh, yes, I remember. <laughs> Oh, no. There's a hole in my pocket. The bolts must have fallen through. Oh, don't worry, Dad. That's a job for us. We'll find them. Good. Yay. Go, 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 go. Come on, Terry. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry, Mummy. Oh, excuse me. Tony and I searched the living room. Come on, Tony. If we don't find all the bolts, then this wind's wings won't get built. Here's one. I found a bolt. I found one, too. There's a bolt! Where? Down there! Oh, great! Got it! And look, there are two more bolts here in the, the hallway. I've got two and you've got three. That means one, two, three, three four, four, five, five. five bolts. Carrie and I found two bolts by the back door and now we're searching in the grass. <gasps> Another bolt! Where? Your hands if you touched a frog, please. Okay. Do you think Mummy and Dad are awake yet? No, I think we're the only people awake in our road. <laughs> so quiet, listen. I can hear a cat meowing. Do you think it's Tiger Fluffy Boots? It might be. I hope he's not stuck up in a tree again. Oh no. Do you remember when we had to rescue him? Oh, yes, I remember. So do I. Wow! Even though we're worried about Tiger Fluffy Boots, we can't help getting excited when a fire engine comes down our road and pulls up on our drive. <laughs> One of the firemen is Carson, who is our friend Kerry's dad. He'll rescue Tiger. Oh, I see the problem. All right, lads, let's get the ladder off the truck. Okay. Right, careful, boys, careful. There you go. Keep going. That's it, yeah. That is pitch. arrives just when Carson is up the ladder rescuing Tiger. Okay. Is that Tiger up there, Mrs Higgly Piggly's cat? Yeah. There you go. Wow. Good boy. Yay! 
Here he is. Take him. <laughs> no. Oh, thanks, Carson. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Tiger. Tim, I've got an idea. What? Let's get dressed into our school uniforms and surprise Mummy and Dad. Topsy, I don't want to. Please, can you go back to your own room? Okay. Tim? Please, may I take the number five balloon into my room? Oh, OK, but look after it. We want to keep it forever, don't we? Yes. Our birthday party was really good. Yes, it was the best. All our friends came, remember? <laughs> There's a chair for everyone to sit on at the party table. And lots of food. For a big surprise. Yes, yeah. <gasps> <gasps> it's a dino butterfly cake. <laughs> <laughs> there are dinosaurs and butterflies on our cake. Big deep breath. Everyone sang and we blew out our candles. Oh, Then we played more games, and it was time for our friends to go home. Tim, look, I'm getting ready for school. Tim, are you out of bed? I thought I heard something. What are you two up to? Topsy couldn't sleep. I'm too excited about going to big school tomorrow. Oh, Topsy. It's far too early for you to get up and put your new school uniform on. I think that you should have another snooze in your own bed with your pyjamas on, OK? OK, Mummy. Good girl. First day of school will be like Topsy. It will be absolutely brilliant. <laughs> night, night, Tim. My night, Topsy. Mm. And it was good. Starting at our new school was amazing. When we got to the school gates, we saw lots of children. Some of our friends from nursery were there. And Anderson. Oh, and Steve Dunton. We have lots of friends at our new school. Hi, Gary! Welcome, everyone. Now, once I ring this bell, I would like you to say goodbye to whoever brought you to school today and walk nicely into the classroom. It's time to begin your first day at Hatcham Primary School. Are we all ready? Yes! Yes! yes. <laughs> Have a lovely day. Be good for Miss Terry. We will. We'll miss you today, Mummy. Bye, Dad. Bye, Mummy. Now listen, Dad and I will be waiting right here, Topsy and Tim, for the end of the school day. And we want to hear all about it. Now, go on. You go and have fun at big school, my twin-tastic Topsy and twin-tabulous Tim. We will. This is our street, it's where we live, so let's all play together, be best friends forever. I'm wearing my new school uniform. I love the cardigan. I don't like my new school shorts. Tim, would you like me to help you? Oh, no, I 
can dress myself, Mummy. Thanks. Oh, good morning, Topsy. Let me have a look at you. Oh, wow, do you little tan? <laughs> Come here. I'm really, 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 really excited. Oh, good, and you look wonderful in your new uniform. Amazing, look at that. <laughs> Hi, Mummy. <laughs> You've got your sweatshirt on back to front. Should we turn oh, it round? Yes. Okay, let's get your arms out. And twist round. Perfect. And then pop them back in the sleeves again. Perfect. Let's get your collar out. Okay, let me have Oh, you look the perfect schoolboy. Okay, breakfast time, twins. Sit down at the table for me. I'm hungry. So am I. Right. Here we go. Oh, actually, maybe I should do the milk today so that you don't spill any milk on your new school uniforms. Thank you, Mummy. There you go. Mm -hmm. oh. mm. Have you got a message, Mummy? Yes, it's from Grandma. What does it say? It says, hello Topsy and Tim, have a lovely day at your big school. Love you lots, both of you, and sending you a big hug or grandma, kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> oh, please can we take a picture of us in our school uniforms and then we send it to grandma? That is a great idea, Topsy, especially as you've been so careful at keeping your uniforms clean. OK, so ready? One, two, three, say big school! Big, big school! <laughs> Oh, lovely, thank you. I think they'll send that to Dad, too. Yeah, send it to Dad. We like it. You know, Topsy and Tim, Dad's really sorry that he's had to go to work earlier and that he'll be missing walking you to school on your first day. Mm. You carry on eating up, though. After breakfast, we go up to the bathroom to brush our teeth. Oops, Mummy! Yes? Oh, no, Topsy, not on your new uniform. Oh, dear. At least it's only a little bit of toothpaste. Oh, yeah, you're right. It could have been much worse. <laughs> Let's get that off. It's coming off fine. There we go. Oh, Mummy, look! Oh, Tim. <laughs> That's a really big bit. <laughs> That's much worse. Here's your last shoe, Topsy. Thanks, Mummy. It's nearly time to go. I love my new school shoes. Oh, good. I love my new book bag. Me too. I'll race you to the bags. Oh, okay. I win. <laughs> well done. <laughs> no, perfect. I'm ready for school. Okay. Who's that? What's that? <gasps> Dad! Dad! <laughs> oh! I made it in time. It's your first day at school, could I, Tom, see and Tim? <laughs> oh. Thank you, Dad. Oh, and when Mummy sent me your photo, you look so smart in your school uniforms, I dash back home from work. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then. Let's all go to school together. Are you ready, Tom, see and Tim? Yes! Yeah. Topsy, I feel a little bit funny in my tummy. But, Tim... We've got that promise to keep, remember? Oh, yes, I'm excited about our promise. Oh, let's go on, then off we go. We promised our friend Mr Rosen that we'll wave to him every day on our walk to school. Now we're off to keep our promise. Hello. <laughs> Bye, Topsy and Tim. Enjoy your first day at school. Thank you. Thank you, we will. Hi, Topsy and Tim. Are you riding your bikes to school? No, we're walking. So we can wave to our friend Mr. Rosen on the footbridge. We promised. <laughs> okay. Yeah, See you at school, Josie. This is it. We're on our way to big school. <laughs> we can't wait. 23, 24. We count the steps up to the top of the footbridge. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Yay. And we want a train going underneath. Look, look at that one. Whoa. 
Mr. Rosen's window to Dad. That's his window. Look, there, Dad. He's not there. Do you think he's forgotten about our promise? Well, maybe Mr. Rosen just hasn't got out of bed yet. But he promised. Mr. Rosen did promise. He is there. Look. Look, he's there. <laughs> I'm ready to go to school now. Mm. So am I. When we get to the school gate, we see lots of children. Some of our friends from nursery are there. And Anderson! Oh, and Steve Dunton! We have lots of friends at our new school. Hi, Gary. Welcome, everyone. Now, once I ring this bell, I would like you to say goodbye to whoever brought you to school today and walk nicely into the classroom. It's time to begin your first day at Hatcham Primary School. Are we all ready? Yes! Yes! <laughs> Have a lovely day. Be good for Miss Terry. We will. We'll miss you today, Mummy. Bye, Dad. Bye, Mummy. Now listen, Dad and I will be waiting right here, Topsy and Tim, for the end of the school day. We want to hear all about it. Go on. You go and have fun at big school, my twin tastic Topsy and twin fabulous Tim. We will. This is our street, it's where we live, so let's all play together, be best friends forever. Hello, are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today was our first day at big school. Can you remember the colour of our new school book bags? Were they blue? Or were they red? The answer is behind the jigsaw pieces. The answer is blue. Watch this. Here's your last shoe, Topsy. Thanks. It's nearly time to go. I love my new school shoes. Oh, good. I love my new book bag. Me too. I'll race you to the bags. Oh, OK. Hi, Will. <laughs> well done. Well, perfect. I'm ready to school. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon!